I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Larson. I am Francisco Serundolo. And you're listening, listening to the Game to Love podcast. podcast. Welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are, another match at the French Open, and it is Emma Raducanu up against the young Czech player, the qualifier. She is a junior Roland Garros champion, and they have just kicked off. A great to see everybody in for this one. If you haven't already, whack a like on the video, subscribe to Game to Love if you're new, the only place to watch Raducanu. Uh, and will she be able to get it done? Will we have the big upset as JG suggests? But we're going to have to wait and see. At the moment, she was love 30 up on Noskova's serve, and Noskova now has pulled it back. Obviously, Raducanu have never seen her at the French Open before, but neither have we with Noskova. But we've got an early break point here for Raducanu. Can she get it converted Unfortunately, no Noskova button. Uh, there was not enough time to be able to make one. But we do have a Raducanu one. Hopefully, we get the chance to use it here today. But I'll be interested to see how Noskova gets on in this match. Let's see if uh, any of you want to give your predictions in the live chat of what the score's going to be. <laughs> Right, we've got Meadow in saying, hey, Ben, how are you doing? And there you go. It is a double fault from Noskova, and it is the early break for Emma Raducanu. Not sure if I'm going to give her a button press this early on. I don't think that that one, uh, that's fair on her opponent. We've got six four six one for Emma from Ross there. We've got Emma in four. Well, they can only go to three, Meadow. So maybe you mean Emma in three. Uh, that would be more likely. <laughs> I'm going to go Emma in, in two. I think that maybe this will be too much or too much too soon for Noskova. But let's, let's remember Raducanu. She's still new to the scene herself. This is both of their first attempts at Roland Garros. So... We'll have to wait and see how Radu kind of gets on. She's wearing quite a good uh, uh, coloured outfit today. Quite like this one. It's like a sort of, uh, what would you call it? Like dusty, like a uh, yellow or something like that with a bit of grey. That's just long from Noskova there on the forehand. There we go. Emma saying, Emma in three, ATP brain. I got Alex Thompson in saying 6262 six, Emma. I think that that's quite a good scoreline. I might join you on that one as well. We had JG predicting 6-2, 6-2, 6-2 for Rafa. Maybe I'll go 6-2, 6-2 for Emma. She needs to serve well today. I would love to see her serving at her best. Uh, much, much more enjoyable to watch when she's serving well. Right. Great backhand winner there from Noskova. Really attacks the second serve of Raducanu. It didn't really have a lot on it, and she stepped in. She pretty much was on the edge of the service uh, box line there to return. Jeff in saying, Emma, all the way. Great to have you in. Uh, let's try and get this video up to 100 likes as soon as possible. We're up to 31 already. 
All you've got to do is whack that like button, subscribe to Game to Love if you're new, and then we'll see how Radu Kanu will do. So, 15 all. Good serve there into the net. Ah, Meadow sent his upset season after Roland Garros. That's why I said three. Could well be. We've already had Ons Jabur crash out, uh, the Madrid champion. And we've already had Klaichikova crash out. She is the reigning champion here at Roland Garros. Is there going to be any other big players go out? Mugolutsa obviously out as well. That's another long shot there from Noskova. Not really found the, the depth on her shots at the moment. And it is 40-15. Raducanu serving. Good serve. And it's into the net. And we do get our first consolidation from Raducanu. <laughs> Noskova serving fault, and that is a double fault, unfortunately for her. In the other match that's playing at the moment, Borna Gojo up a break in the fir or in the fifth and final set there against Gianessi. Uh, we've got Camille Majlazak. He's facing set point against Brandon Nakashima, and it's going to go to five. It looks like Bashashvili into a fifth set, and Vavrinka looking to try and get into a fifth. That's long again from Noskova. She's really not found the distance on the court. She's she's trying to hit the baseline too much for my liking. She's trying to keep uh, Raducanu in a defensive position, but she's hitting it too hard. And we've got flame, flaming hot fry guy saying, for Emma, first set bagel. Don't know. We'll have to see. If uh, Noskova's hitting the ball well, she just needs to get it into the court. Nice backhand there from Raducanu, sort of manoeuvring her around the court. That one just clipped the line. And there you go. Great play from Raducanu. She opens up three break points in this one. Manoeuvring Noskova around the court here. Great uh, change in pace on the backhand side. Right. Love 40, triple break point. Serve, return, good depth from Raducanu. Inside out forehand, Raducanu goes cross court here. The, the drop shot, oh, it's a great drop shot from Noskova. Really great drop shot. Her best shot of the match so far, that one. Uh, maybe her best drop shot of the match. The, the backhand off the return, the winner she did was very good as well. Uh, she's definitely got the talent. You can see it from the odd shot she's pulling off. Definitely a very, very uh, good talent on the tour. But is it too much too soon for her? That one's just long on the return from Raducanu. Is she going to rue these breakpoint misses at the moment? That one just long of the baseline. And there we go. Noskova to serve. 30-40. Good. Oh, let first serve. It's quite a good serve down the tee. Raducanu got the return back in. Yeah, it's always interesting to see uh, how somebody, well, it's used to seeing Raducanu, the younger player on, on the court. Noskova, obviously, two years younger than her. Into the net from Raducanu there. Poor backhand, and that's three break points have gone missing there. She doesn't really have to do too much to, to get those breaks back there. Raducanu making a few unforced errors. And as you can see on the screen, already four winners from Noskova, four unforced errors. She's the one who's going for it a bit more. Raducanu happy to sort of keep the ball in play. Serve is in. Backhand return from Raducanu. Play down the center of the court. Noskova starting to find the depth now. Raducanu can't allow her to, or give her too much respect here. There you go. Raducanu starting to maneuver around the court a bit here. 
Now it's into the forehand of Noskova. I'm still trying to work out what's her best shot. That's a good forehand cross court from Noskova. Now the drop shot. Ah, oh, I think it is the drop shot, to be honest. She's done two fantastic drop shots so far, Noskova. And that one, another clean winner. Been impressed with the drop shot so far. She's sort of having a good baseline rally. No when to drop shot. That's a key thing. Alcaraz does it so well. Uh, Onstjabur, another person who does it very well, especially on the women's side. Oh, into the net there from the first serve. We've got Lexi in. How are you doing? So, Ben, I was looking for the stream and I found it under Raffers. There you go. Easy to find. Oh, great winner from Radu Khan, who did what Noskova did to her on the last service game. A weak second serve to the backhand side and it's swatted away on return. A bit too easy. Yeah, Arun saying, Graf was 16 years old when she started winning. So was Martina Hingis. Uh, I believe Conchita Martinez as well. Uh, 17 years old is not too young in the tennis world. No, I don't think so. I think it's definitely, if you're going to be one of the greats, that's sometimes when you start showing yourself. Good backhand into the Raducanu forehand. She's getting Raducanu running around here. Yep, she's got her out of position. And Raducanu makes the error. The backhand just flies just wide. And the rally is starting to become a bit more even now. Obviously, Radu Khan, got the early break, maybe some early nerves from Noskova, wasn't really finding the court, didn't really have the, the depth perception, let's call it. Good serve there, out wide, goes forehand, Radu Khan, keeps it in play, and then another forehand, Radu Khan, backhand. Now, Noskova, big winner there, there you go. She's finally found her feet on the court, and she gets her first game in Roland Garros, and it is 2-1, but Radu Kanu with the break. So, we've got Borna Gojo in the other match that's going on right now, which is 5-4 up in the final set, and we'll be serving for the match. And we've got Brandon Nakashima is now into a fifth set with Camille Madjelazak. That one, uh, he won the fourth set tie break, 7-3. And we've got Basashvili and Krezi locked in a fifth set, 3-2 at the moment. Rafael Nadal gets it done. JG gets it right. 6-2, 6-2, 6-2. Good prediction there from him. Should have put a bet on that. And Stan Vavrinka has just lost. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, Stan is out and the Frenchman through. Quarantine Moutet. And we've got Dan Evans. He's two sets and a break up against Francisco Serendolo. Ketsmanovic up a break in the first set against Echeveli. And Cashin has just, uh, well, he's won the first set 6-1 on serve in the second. And then we've just got McDonald and Agamemnone. They're one set all at the moment. All right, Radu Kanu back out onto the court. And he's serving 2-1 up with the break. Serve is in. Good return from Noskova there. Caught Raducanu out a bit there. She had to loop up a return. Now the drop shot again. Raducanu's wise to it this time. She comes to the net. Will she get past? Good volley from Raducanu. Will she get past? Oh, poor passing shots, though, from Noskova there. She really should have placed it down the line. She opted to go over the lower part of the net uh, in the middle on the second uh, attempt, and it was right to the racket of Raducanu. And she's put away the volley with ease. That one was there for the taking, to be honest. I think it's just inexperience just showing there. That's all. 15 love. Good serve down the tee there from Raducanu. Good return. A bit of a moon ball there. And great shot there from Noskova. Got good depth on that one. Now the forehand, but it's long from Noskova there. I think Raducanu did well there. She just moon balled it just to get a little bit of extra time to reposition herself. Lexi saying JG's prediction always right when it comes to Rafa. I didn't even say right. It's always. I just read that. Oh, there it was there. There you go. Right. I just added it in myself. See, all thinking along the same lines. <laughs> Yeah, but guys, if you are just joining one of the 250, please hit a like on the video. Come on, we'll get this to 100. First Radu Kanu stream of Roland Garros. Uh, we're at 43. Let's get this up to 100. 
Right. Here we go. 40 love anyway. Looking for our first game to love of the match. I think anyway. If I've been paying attention. Great winner there from Noskova. The backhand. She was sort of backpedaling and hit it on the retreat. It's definitely been some good shots here so far from her. Showing a few good angles off of both sides as well. Backhand looks like the more more dangerous weapon, I'd say, so far. Good serve from Raducanu. Opens the court up. Then the backhand into the open court. Goes into the backhand again. The slice from Noskova into the backhand again. I think Raducanu's maybe targeting the wrong shot here. Although the forehand's pretty good as well from Noskova. She comes in, puts away the ball. Yeah, Raducanu trying to analyse which side is the uh, weaker side, I feel, at the moment. I feel that Noskova's pretty solid on both sides from what I've seen so far. The backhand looks like the finish, the more of the finishing shot, though. It looks like she can, she really whips it. So, here we go. 40-30 from 40-love. It's in this, some quite close games so far in this one. Just the one break. Raducanu struggling with the ball toss at the moment. It's the third attempt. Yeah, she's missed that one long, that first serve. Jay saying, can you send me a link for a live stream? Maybe jump in our Discord, link in the description. You might be able to catch it in there, mate. Second serve's in. Noskov attacks it, and Raducanu instantly on the back foot. Drive volley, yeah, no chance on that. They've seen this similar pattern on both of the girls' serves so far in this in this match so far, the second serve is being very, very uh, aggressively attacked by both of these girls. First serve is all important here today. As you can see, Raducanu only missed two first serves so far. so And she's not won on her second serve yet. Noskova really stepping in. That's a good serve out wide from Raducanu. Good first serve. Oh, she chose to go back the same way, and Noskova guessed it, and now she smashed it into the net. I think that got in her head a little bit there, Raducanu. Noskova just had accepted defeat, some might say, just by standing there because she knew she wouldn't get the open court if Radu played into it, but she didn't. Emma's coach there, Ian Bates, there watching on. Be a bit disappointed with that one, that's for sure. There you go. First break point here for Noskova. Raducanu struggling with the ball toss again here. Misses the first serve. It seems like when she struggles with the ball toss, it's mainly on the advantage side of the court. And then she misses the first serve. She hasn't won a second serve yet. So this is a good sign for Noskova. It's in. Noskova, good shot. And it's terrible backhand from Raducanu into the net. And it's a break. We've got Lex saying the Serendolo match is quite dramatic playing in the rain. I like the view. Oh, really? I was not aware of this. Borna Gojo has just won in the fifth set against GNSE 6-4. What an epic match one uh, matchup that was. Five hours, one minute. I mean, what a ridiculously long match. That's crazy. Can't believe how long they've been on court. They've been on court since midday. Wow. Backhand return from Raducanu. Not really punishing those second serves as she was earlier on in this match. Noskova starting to hit with a bit more power now. Good one down the line there. Raducanu on the stretch. That's long from Noskova there. JG with Vamos the Nos and Nos. <laughs> Lex saying, JG, come here. Neil saying Noskova looking good here. Yeah, she's not. It's the first game of the match. She looked a little bit nervous. I think she's settled in now. Oh, there's that drop shot. It's not the best one. And Raducanu, is it in? I think it's just in. I think she was worried because she looped it up quite high with the attempted passing shot there. Yeah, Noskova's drop shots have been quite good. That one... 
for me, it looked close to out. JG saying, do you like her, Ben? Yeah, I think she's got a very good shot arsenal from what we've seen so far. Quality shots on JG Traitor. I can't believe it. Yeah, it doesn't matter who she's playing, Radu Kanu. He'll always cheer for the opponent. We know that already. We've got Flaming Hot Fry Guy saying, start to feel Radu Kanu could lose. Well, there's always a possibility. You've got to remember, this is tennis. And this is tennis between two people. Well, it's their first roll on Garros, both of them. There's a good winner from Radu Kanu. Goes back behind Noskova, who actually decided this time to come back to the center of the tee. Yeah. And that one, she got punished last time. Well, maybe Noskova stopped running. She seemed to do better when she when she didn't run. Good return there from Radu Kanu. Go backhand to backhand. Cross court. Moscow seems to have a bit of pep in her shots. That was a good forehand winner. Quality shot saying, it's like you and the Dow, Ben. Oh, that's not fair. JG saying, don't lie, Ben. What? Don't lie that she's got a good shot, Arsenal. Well, say what I see, mate. I don't have these rose tinted specs like you. It's a good serve there from Noskova out wide. And Radu Kanu can only chop it back into the net. We've got Roy Razak in. How are you doing, Roy? I'm good, mate. How many likes on the video are we up to? 62. Come on. 38 away from 100. We can get there before the end of the first set. I believe in you. Good return. And it's a miss here. It's a shank from Noskova, unfortunately. And she's gifted the break right back there, unfortunately. I'd say early impressions of this match feel like it could go either way, really. I don't feel like either player has really stamped their authority on this match. I don't feel like Radu Kanu seems like a much better player on court. I feel like it seems fairly even. You know, JG would be probably be happy to hear me say that. I'm sure he's watching from some where he's probably eating. I know that that's what he normally likes to do when he's not on the stream. There's normally some sort of item of food in his hand. Oh, the, the umbrellas are coming out. That's not a good sign. As the rain continues to fall. I have to go and grab a quick water, I think, one sec. Bear with me two ticks. Less of that uh, lift music. They're checking the courts at the moment, in case you're wondering. They've come back out. Obviously, it's raining. Umpires checking the... Uh, see how slippery it is out there. All right. Well, Raducan is going to try and continue and serve. If you're just joining us, one of the 300. Whack a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Oh. That one's just long on the first serve. Definitely looks like a, it's a lot darker there at the moment than before. Good serve out wide there from Radicano. Good return, though. Another good shot from Radicano back behind Noskova, and she goes back the same way. I think that's the key. Just wait to see a slight movement. If you can delay your shot, do so. Just to see if the opponent does like drop a shoulder one way or the other because she's got caught out once before. We've got Lexi in with Com Igjen Emma. Am I saying that right? She goes over to the backhand side. Noska was read that one. 
She goes back there again. Noskova tries to go down the line, misses that one into the net. We've got Neil in saying, just join. So apologies, we've already discussed it. What's your view on Osaka? Probably not playing Wimbledon. Uh, and do you think many others will give it a miss? Oh, that's very sad if she's not playing Wimbledon. Uh, I don't think that many people will give it a miss. I don't think so, especially if there's an opportunity to win a Grand Slam for the first time. Well, we've got Snell some Heather Watson's retiring after this tournament. If that's true, that's very sad. She wouldn't even just wait for Wimbledon. She'd definitely get a wild card. Dan Evans has wrapped up the match against Serendolo, who's the underdog there as well. Forty love here for Raducanu. No sign of uh, JG yet. Must be on his second course, maybe. <laughs> or maybe he's just waiting to see if Noskova comes back. And if he, if he, if she does, then he'll enter. If not, then he'll stay clear of the stream. Ace from Radu Kanu. Game to love and consolidation. <laughs> Well done, Emma. Finally, so it went two, two, and then another two. Just long on the baseline there. Good rally from both players. I think it's really encouraging. You can really see the rain coming down. But I think the way Noska has played so far, it is quite encouraging. Um, Radu Kanu still playing pretty well. Oh, Alex saying it's com em then. Okay. Oh, she tries the drop shot there. That was the one that's worked for a couple of times already. Noskova and it. It does not work. The rain coming down, probably say would favour the British. We're used to the rain <laughs> a lot more than everybody else. So maybe Radu Kanu not going to be too disappointed. Great. Re oh, is that just long? I'm not sure if they called. Yeah, it was just long. I didn't hear a call. That was all. Right. Yeah, Neil was saying, surely uh, Watson would want to retire at Wimbledon. Yeah, it would make much more sense. Good serve there from Noskova. Good return. Forehand from Noskova. Cross court from Radu Kanu. Noskova gone big down the line. It's kept in play. Great recovery from Radu Kanu there. Now good loop in backhand with a short angle. Slice from Noskova. Drop shot. Radu Kanu to the net. Passing shot volley there from Noskova. Mixed it up a bit. Got stuck in a bit of no man's land there. But adjusted, hit a good volley, uh, sort of a drive volley winner fr from her knee. Don't see many of them. And Basashvili has won from two sets to love down, has come back and won that match in five. Well done to him. Noskova serving, 30 all. Massive forehand. She really stepped into that one, and it is 40-30. She does not want to give Radu Kanu the chance to serve out this first set. Oh, great return there from Radu Kanu. Oh, great return there. She stepped into that one and forced a juice. Meadow saying, Basashvili is saving my bracket. Oh, great forehand there from 
Noskova goes down the line. Raducanu on the stretch and it's into the net. Nielsen, nice return winner. Yeah, it really was. Really great shot. We're only 24 likes away from 100. Come on, guys. Let's get us there. Well, we're hoping to get there before the end of the set. I'm sure we can still do it. There's still time left. Serve is in. Backhand return. Good angles there from Raducanu. Looped up. She's, oh, she's hit the net cord there. It's bounced wide. And Noskova does end up holding. And it is 4-3. 31 minutes on the clock. I've got a feeling they're going to sort of start reviewing the the courts in between here. Yeah, the umpire's down. Weather is pretty dismal. So it's better in the UK. Don't get that very often, do you? Meadow saying, Ben, how many of, of the Grand Slam matches at Roland Garros will you watch? Well, as many as possible. That's for sure. We'll probably be covering uh, three or four a day, maybe. And in our spare time, we'll be watching highlights and trying to catch up with all of the other matches as well. Nakashima at the moment serving for the match in the fifth set. It's been a long old one. It's been three and a half hours on court. Not quite as long as Gojo and uh, Giannessi, five hours. But still a bit of a, mar a marathon match there. Heather Watson still trying to stay in her match with Giacomo. We've got Jean, Jean Jean's actually up a set and a break. I didn't realize that. Wow. Well done, Jean Jean. A name, uh, a name I've been seeing flying around the ITF scene. 26 years old. I think they're going to continue playing. Yeah. Don't know if don't, the umpire's just wandering around the baseline, doing a few little pretend slides. Don't think he slides the same as the actual tennis players. Uh, they're just trying to dry themselves off a bit, really. Got towel on. Back out onto court they go. 4-3. Oh, no. See, he's just using the towel to uh to clean the uh the baseline. Right, here we here we go. 4-3 serving. Noskova did very well there to come through a close game at juice on her serve. It was a very, very uh gutsy performance, let's say. Both of them look into the heavens at the moment still. Yeah, I'm not I think they might stop the match, to be honest. Oh, they're not, are they? <laughs> looks like <laughs> looks like they're gonna stop it, I think. Because it's oh, right, it's yeah, been raining totally. a lot for a long time. Like they've been playing just in like pretty much pouring down rain for the last like 20 yeah. minutes. I have been watching it, but I didn't see any rain. Yeah, if you go when they do the close ups on the people, you can always see like quite a lot. Yeah, and this is the type of court you can see. I'm not sure what court they're on exactly, but it's not the one where there's a roof uh, ability, I'm pretty no. sure, right? No. Nope. It looked a bit smaller than the rest. Yep, sadly it is. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do. They're just going to ask each other what they want to do. It just depends on safety, really. That's the main yep. thing. Just Both of them are just happy to wait it out at the moment. But I don't think it's going to stop, though. That's the That's the fear. Yeah, that's my fear as well. It's been a bit on and off all day. Hmm. Are the other courts still playing? Got, yeah, Mackie McDonald and uh, Agamemnone is still going. I mean, we've got Nakashima trying to serve out for the match. Rather Emma's conny. currently standing yeah. up, having a look at the sky. It's tough, isn't it, to call? I mean... Because at the end of the day, you... Oh, they're they're going to play, Ben. They're yeah. playing here. Radu Kardu is bouncing the ball. Fair play to him. She's ready to play. I think that once you've put like all, got all your mental side ready and all of that for a match, and you really want to just get it done as well. I feel when you're younger as well, you're more likely to play. Do you know what I mean? We're yeah. talking about, what, a 17 and an 18-year-old or 19 or whatever. 19, yeah, yeah. There we go. They're going to... Oh, no, a terrible... So that long break did her serve good. And you see, she's won one out of five on her second serve, Raducanu, so far. Noskova really attacking. Yeah, yeah. come on, the Noskova. There it is again, a big forehand. Weapons from both sides from Noskova. 
inside Ooh, out she's looking hand, good yeah. here Noska. Well, i mean she's down a break but i'm seeing some good shots from her i can you can see why she's my number one qualifier to watch she's the one who stands out out of all the others and she's only 17 so she's going to keep getting better and better i think she has the tools to become a really good player or in good time for sure she has a good drop shot she has good backhand and forehand i say the backhand's her best shot Oh, that's a terrible serve. Yeah, yeah again, I mean, I've seen a few of these from Raducanu. Uh, some earlier on when she got board. broke back with the terrible serving. I don't think this break in play has done her any good, to be honest. I feel like she's got a bit cold. Oh, the second serve. Bit, oh, big bit come on from Emma. A bit, a bit of better serve, the that passion. one. It had a bit of a kick on it. We've come got John on. Silk in the building. Now we're doing Silky Boy. Hey. We've got the Silk Report later on after Djokovic. You don't want to miss that. For this. <laughs> I thought he might come in for JG's qualifier to watch. Yeah, well, make sure Didn't you give uh, Noskova a good mention on the Silk Report today, John. She's playing all right at the minute. But she's trailing. Emma Raducanu currently up a break. That's a great shot. Clean winner from the, the Nos. Backhand. We know what she can do off the backhand side. And here she comes again, 15-30. Yeah, it's a really good technique she has on the backhand. Like for both sides, the inside out and the uh, cross-court yeah. one. We've got Meadows and watched my first Silk Report yesterday. That was good. <laughs> I mean, everyone, everyone knows where they watched their first Silk Report. Yeah, where were you when you watched yours? That's not the live chat. Where did you watch? The, what was your favourite Silk Report? And what was the first Ooh. Silk Report you've watched? I mean, I've watched all of them, unfortunately, yeah. uh, because I'm in the <laughs> back room and I can't get away from them. You should see what goes on before the Silk Report goes live. That's more entertaining for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get the behind the scenes Silk Report. I might film it one day just so that we can give everybody a, a, little, a little insight. Yeah, patron exclusive behind the scenes at the Silk Report. He's a very demanding... Uh... Oh, yeah, very demanding character. Yeah, we have to have it's... everything all tip-top for him. So it's like the like the A-list celeb when he comes in. Have you got my... Uh, I ordered uh, special fruits in my dressing room. Do you have them? <laughs> you go, Where are my tweets, JG? <laughs> Where are my tweets? Get them up for me. Oh, what a shot that is from Radu Cardi. He comes in, drive volley, good shot. Nice one. Went back the same come way. On. 40 30. <laughs> That's Looking the to big go. Come on. Five three up. It's a very close match. I think that the only thing that let uh Noskova down was just the start to the match. He looks a bit nervous. That was it. Oh, match point Nakashima. Yeah. Love to see it. Gonna get it done, isn't he? Another Can you believe that then. Borna Gojo won. I know. Five mean, hours. Neither of us had him, so. I know. Five Shame. hours. Five hours, one minute, actually. I'm doing a disservice. Got to mention every minute when they go over five hours. Bolban saying he missed the Silk Report. I mean, you can still watch it. With the Silk Report, they are endless. You don't need to be there live. They're always a good watch the next day. On so repeat, if watch. you want. They've got a playlist on there. You can go through all of them. All right, 40 30. Second serve again, I think this was. It wasn't a let, was it? I think Good it serve. was a let. Oh, it was a let. Okay. Oh, great forehand there from Noskova. Radical. Oh, on the run. come on, there Noskova. Brilliant in. shot from her. Great shot. I mean, she looks very different here, Ben, as well, to the one you put on the thumb now. It's the only picture that was available. Surprisingly, <laughs> there's not many pictures around of somebody who's not ever played really any matches. Yeah, Bob and I like to be there live. Well, you don't want to, today you can be there live. It'd be an oh, after Djokovic. Oh, oh, can't be missed. It's like the the it's sort of like a bedtime uh, story for people, these these uh, silk reports are so late. Oh, good hitting from both Massive at the moment. Hitting. I mean, we the know womb. oh, what a shame. Oh, she did everything she... right and then crashes that one into the net. But just looking at her technique. I don't want Great to get too technique. carried away. Like you watch Radu Khan, we know she's a good striker of the ball. Um, Noskova, she can hit it like that as well. She has so much poten potential. I'm calling it now. She's a future world, uh, well, future top ten player in the making. Could well be up there with the Fruvitovas. Yeah. 
all the checks <laughs> <Quite a lot laughs> the dominate tech. for a time to come, it would seem. Yeah, Krachikova bows out and Noskova steps up. Well, why not? Someone needs someone else to cheer. I think she'll be getting more cheers than Krachikova. All the boos for her. Yeah, but she was playing a French lady. Yeah, I know, but she was doing those things that you don't like, taking long in between yeah. sets to try and sway the match. Yeah. Krachikova's not a popular player at all. I can't say I like her either, if I'm honest. That's a good shot. Rady Khan yeah. forces it just wide. And we're at juice now. Juice. Did you see Jean Jean? Yeah. Did she get it wrapped up? Nearly. 5-3 in a second. Yeah, That's doing mad. it for Jean in the live chat. <laughs> I imagine that Jean Jean wins the whole thing. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cheering Jean Jean all the way. Does she still <laughs> have the long hair, Jean Jean? I think so. John Silk loving JG's impartiality for this match. Listen, G John, it's my number one uh, qualifier to watch, Noskova. She's a French Open champion in her own right. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Good shot there, Raducanu. Noskova oh, responds, though. We're into another long rally. That one looked close to being out. Noskova here. She's moving Raducanu. Ooh, around. She's got a shank. break point. Brilliant tennis from Linda. <laughs> Bad shot there from Radu Kanu. And she did the same thing earlier when she was able to break. She didn't run and Radu Kanu went back the same way and then she caught her out. And she's done that twice now. Probably quite a smart move. All right, on, advantage. Oscar. Let's get back into this one. It's business end may be coming. Oh, second serve as Ooh. well. Do you have a button for Noskova? No. There's nothing, mate. Terrible. I know. Tell me about it. Get one for the next round. But she'll definitely get one for the next round if she goes through. Raducanu pushed back. We can see a drop shot here. Noskova. Oh. Raducanu comes in. And she looks like she's being lobbed. But Raducanu comes oh, back shot. again. She moonballs it. They go backhand to backhand. Down the line. Noskova a with a massive break. What Great a player shot. this girl is. 17 years old. The new teenage sensation four, on the all. block. It's for all. Vamos de nos. 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 Nos, 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 I feel like I've heard that song before somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, into the net from Raducanu now. She's staring at the racket far too much for my liking. JG's going to allude to a maybe medical timeout probably coming soon. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Is the rain going to be affected? I'm this? just here for Nosco. I'm not even doing Listen, if this Nosco was playing anyone else, I'd still be cheering for him. Ben knows that. I Maybe. did the qualifier to watch video and was bigging her up like a madman before I knew she was playing Radu Kani. You can all watch well, it. She's it playing filmed. eager. I still have to go Noskova, man. It's my qualifier to watch. My it's word. my girl. Oh, Radu like Kani. New, falling new apart. spirit animal. Oh, it's going to be for years to come. Noskova is one of my favorite players already on the women's, mate. <laughs> already. She's already there. She's so good. It's going to be future Roland Garros champion. Listen, Landon, I don't dislike Emma Raducanu. I don't like her antics. I cheered her on in the US Open. And with regards to this match, mm. you can watch the Cheer qualifiers to watch. I watch the qualifiers. Who are you supporting in the final of the US Open if you were cheering Leila her Fernandes. on? Exactly. So you weren't cheering her yeah, on. But I was happy for her. Oh, okay. That's different. I didn't want to. I wasn't that bothered if she if she was to win. Oh, another big winner nice. there from There's Noskova. Backhand. Radu Khan needs to keep clear of the backhand. It's a game to love I consolidation. Agree. She's five four up. What a talent this girl is. And do you think right now, Radu Khan is starting to feel like one of the ladies that she may have been playing uh, 
when he was in the US Open. This is a qualifier who's just come through, won three rounds of qualifying, stepping in and now handing it to one of the seeds, like Radu Kanu did in the US Open. And and listen, nobody would really she sort of went part under the radar on the qualifiers. People didn't really yeah. know about her. You, like I said, you had a good time, you had a chance, you could have picked from any of the qualifiers. You looked for all their form, you looked at Noska for. I remember you looked at that result where she lost six one, six one the other no, day. I didn't even thought, look at that. I just looked at who she yeah. beat in qualifying. That was all. average. Average, not very good. Not 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 one of my qualifiers to watch. And look at I her didn't even against go... Raducanu, 5-4 up, doing yeah, the business. I, yeah, I didn't even go deep enough to check her Wikipedia page and all that type of thing. I didn't check her Wikipedia. I knew who she was. Okay. Well, I didn't. But probably from Twitter, granted. Yeah, this is the I... first time I'm seeing her play. Yeah. And I like it. Great player. Under my wing. <laughs> <laughs> You're a <our> coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have her. She could join the J Genius uh, Brigade. So with Tara Daniel, is he on there? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Kicked him off. <laughs> deleted him from Twitter. <laughs> now your ones, you've got quite a few. You've got Radu Carney, Piscova. You've got a little flurry of Piscova. players on yours. She's always in under your books. Andreescu. All the great ones. No, she's she's not part of your book. Didn't that? She's on my books. Oh, I had her so many <laughs> years ago. Eager's on my yours. wing. I've got her under there. No, mate, I had her higher than you in the rankings. What? So, I don't. Oh. You can't say anything about Eager. I, I rate Eager oh, a lot, a lot more than you do. I can't say anything. I could say what I want. I picked her to bring Ryan Gauss when she did. You didn't. Oh, you had God. Barty, I think. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. <laughs> Well, number one. what JG says goes, so we just have to believe everything he says. Okay, so did you pick Eager when she won Roland Garros to win it? I don't know, probably no, not. No, you didn't. You had Barty. Or I, Barty. I, don't know. I think it was Serena Williams. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that was Wimbledon, sorry. <laughs> oh, that was Wimbledon, sorry. Oh, oh another oh, backhand winner. Oh, big backhand winner there. He's so good. He's a good one. What a player. Give her the title. How's already. your how's your world number one getting on anyway? Oh, let's talk about Mugalutsa for a bit. <laughs> She's getting on quite well. She's put on course for world number one, isn't she? She's under your Just... wing as well, is she? Well, not anymore. She's under John's. <laughs> I don't know what John's happy that she's out. He's gonna go and uh, ask her for a date, I think. She's got a couple of weeks free. Oh, I could serve. Great serve. Bill's in saying we need a Bill Bill. We got a Jean Jean. So we got Schmeidlova, Kucheva on at the moment. Kucheva two love up. And we got Tomjanovic Kontovi, a big bracket uh decider that one. I've got Tomjanovic in mine. And she's two love up in the oh. first at the minute. Convenient. Oh, convenient. <laughs> Boring Ben picks the seed again. I can't believe you can't take Eagle, man. It's, but definitely not. You did it. You had a sick for the end of the year. I mean, what kind oh, of nonsense that, is that? What did you have? Fifth Five. better than you, oh, isn't it? Oh, cool. Well, it's got kind of such a difference. It's like saying well, you've got Bedoza a... at number one. you got a number I three. A, I rated Eagle more than you. Facts. Done. Moving right, on. Well, well it's true. I had a higher in the rankings. And you did predicted what she was going to do this year, didn't you? No, of course not. Exactly. Exactly. coming. Exactly. There's that J genius. <laughs> Come on, Linda. Let's get now. Let's get the break and take the set. Good four oh, and shot. Oh, she goes the other way. Oh, Raducanu slides the into it. There. Oh, into the net. Oh. Raducanu hold massive hold crowd from Raducanu, it and it is juice. I'm interested to know which way the crowd are really like swaying for this. I feel like that they would want this new sort of sensation. Oh. To... Why? It's silly. Everyone's I just groaned Radicardi. when she missed then. I would say it's 80% Radicardi. I wouldn't be so sure. I think that they probably know about her from winning Roland Garros Juniors. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, John. We've got John in there. Better than he goes one to watch since 2021. Six months after she won the French Open. <laughs> He's always just a bit late to the party. I mean, Scat Off, he was early. Scat Off, he was, listen, he was one of the first people in on Scat Off. I'll give him, I'll give him fairs due. He was there before he, before he'd become big. 
<laughs> he was there before. And still got time. He's still, still growing. Got time. He's still not made it yet. Lost cover. I got in early, and I'm gonna literally. I'm farming this one all the way to the bank. Let's see if she. I put my neck on the line with this one, so I deserve the praise if it comes through. I want to see you put you. Last time you put your neck on the line for a player, an unknown was scat off. There was no research. That's and the this thing. Year, you put, you put your neck on the line with Shunk. I put my neck on the line for a punt. You put your <laughs> neck on the line with a, ch- a Royal no, Garrison. This Junior year, you put champ. your neck on the line with Shunk. And she's still getting to play. My, a, third, a third person to watch. No, not really neck on the line. Is it? Yeah, your third one to watch. Not really neck <laughs> on the line, is it? Yeah, but you're a bit of a Shunk fan. Mate. I picked a nice photo for her as well. Yeah, I know, I know. You stretched it out. It's terrible. <laughs> Poor Shunk. You nearly chopped the S off her name as well. I was <laughs> appalled. <laughs> oh, God. Poor girl. Just trying to make her way in the world. Just earn a living. What's the part with this type of abuse? Oh, great shot. Nos cover. Rowdy Connie always opts for the moon ball to... When things aren't oh, going so right, did struggle oh, with that. terrible I mean, just volley. Yeah, but it's, that's 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 the problem. What we're seeing now, she's very young. It's, she's not perfected her it's, trade at all. <laughs> I think there's always it's good to have the young players because there's always a lot of excuses. No, but I mean, she generally has a lot to improve on. Like she's so does definitely Raducanu as well. No, but Raducanu is a little bit more polished than Noskov. I mean, she's very unpolished. Much more Noskova. time on tour. You're right. She's got like oh, she's played through months. Grand Slams, mate. I don't think Noskov has ever been anywhere close. She's not even played. She plays ITF. Has she ever done at the French different. Open before? Who? Raducanu. The juniors, you but gonna... it's a different different thing no, altogether. No, but I, can you tell me Giacomo. that? Giacomo won the juniors. No, but can you tell me the, both of their credentials from Roland Garros in previous years? That's all I want to know. They've never, Noskov has never played at Roland Garros before. What about Raducanu? She's, did she play last year? No. I don't think she did. I think she started at Wimbledon, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well, thanks for clearing that up. So what's that? Three slams under her belt. Three more than Noskova. How many clay court slams under her belt? How many Come masters of Raducanu play? A lot more than Noskova. It just right. you can't put them on the same. They're not got the same experience. Noskova is a lot less um, less polished than Raducanu. That's facts. I think they're both still unpolished. Give, yeah, to a level. But give Noskova another few years. Give her another give two years, and she'll be on the same level as Raducanu is now. No, probably I a lot think better. She's prob- yeah, she'll probably be better than where she is now. That's what I mean. Raducanu's less polished. Oh, so you she like need- Noskova? I think she's a good player. Oh. Qualified Never to said watch she was in Wimbledon. Qualified to watch for you? Mm, depends how good she is on grass. So you got to look into the form books. Bit that's of research. Ever do, she's never it? played on grass. She's never played that's on what, grass. That's what I mean. So I will never know, will we? <laughs> so you won't pick her then? I'd You'll have Jean not. Jean. She's good on grass. Maybe. Maybe I'll have JG. <laughs> in, a, in a skirt. <laughs> yeah, SXM saying both are very unpolished, of course. Very. Uh, Raducanu, though, of course, had that extra, well, quite a bit of experience now under her belt uh, compared really? to Noskova. You've been slagging um, her off every tournament. Oh, it's just terrible. <laughs> her first clay court tournament, she's awful. Look at her. How could no, she I not thought, win? No, she won listen, the US Open. She I'm must not, be I'm good not... on clay if she won the US Open. It's just no, it's just a no-brainer. No, no. I've not slagged. I thought she's actually looked really good on clay. Yeah, no. She looked good in Madrid. Stuttgart. Was it Stuttgart? Mm, yeah, Stuttgart. She took no, eager to I thought she was great. four and four. No, I thought not she bad. played extremely well. I've got nothing against her. In fact, I remember saying on one of the news videos, I was really impressed with how she was able to transition to the clay. I think she has the makings to be a good clay court player. I'm um, sorry, I can't keep it. Not quite Radu, can't. Not I can't, quite Noskova, but... I can't quite keep it. I can't keep a straight face. I love that your narrative changes to fit the how you would want it to... She becomes good when you want her to lose, and then the rest of the time you hate her and trash her. It's just funny. Like now she's her. a mate. Now look at her. She's a 12 seed. Okay, she's how a Grand many Slam ma- champion. Listen, how look, many she's gonna times? get beaten by my qualifier to watch. Have you seen this? Now then now the rest of the time, look at her, she's just rubbish. Just to like, when, okay, when have I, to when have I ever said out. she's rubbish? Just she's got a blister, she pulls out. Just have I have I ever said Rodney Connor's rubbish ever? You said that. No, I've never said that. I said she, she. I don't like her gamesmanship. I've never said she's rubbish. I've also said many times she has the ability to be a real contender with Eager for the, for many years to come. 
I've also said I don't think she's going to win a Grand Slam uh, when and any any event of any nature for the next four years after she won the US Open. I've never called her rubbish, though. She's not rubbish. She's a good player, Raducanu. However, I don't think she has her ego gets in the way of her losing. I don't think she knows how to lose, and she just pulls a medical timeout when she's losing. Time I feel, like, that's, that's how I feel. That's where we differ, because I think it's time on tour that will tell. And I think that's the one thing she lacks. She just needs more experience. And right now, she's getting it. Right, great drop shot again from Noskova. One of her things, is that going to be one of her shots to watch along with the backhand? Nearly coming up to an hour and they've forgotten about the rain, it seems. I think the rain stopped. Yeah, the umbrellas have gone down, haven't they? Must have. Here we go, a big rally coming up. Massive backhands from both players. Raducanu flicks one into the other side of the court. It's a good shot. Oh, it's a great and, uh, forehand. Noskova there did slip slightly, so maybe it's a little wet underfoot. She lost her <laughs> foot in. Um, 40, oh, 15. she just was coming back the, that no, same way. Look. She lost her foot in. See, look. Yeah, that's what happens there. when someone puts it back behind you. Yeah, it was, it was a great shot. Listen, I'm not taking anything away from Rally kind of brilliant shot in behind her. Uh, well, it was clever because Noskova lost her foot in and uh, Raducanu here, 40-15, looking Never wants to give a compliment all the time, to her. It's terrible. No, I am. I don't know why you say that. <laughs> it just I, don't, I don't even trash Raducanu. I just don't like the medical timeouts. Yeah, okay, I agree with Ben, Ari Raducanu. Good. Yeah, At least what's someone that? does. She's going to win this event. Who said that? Does oh, anybody have her to... to win the event? No, yeah, quite a few on the really? <laughs> yeah, a few percent. It's hard when Eager's in there. I mean, the same Eager people who said it. Thompson could get a set probably <laughs> from earlier. At least you got two, two, and two earlier. Good one. About 100 quid you could have made for that off a pound, probably. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm waiting for you to. What's your one anyway for this match? Noskova, though, bringing Raducanu to a tie break, it seems, in the first set. Not necessarily. Well, maybe she could get it done here. I mean, it's been Possibly. an amazing first set from her. Yeah, the I only don't know bad... who she is. I'm sure you're going to watch her now. The only bad part of her game was the first game. She probably would have won this first set had she not started badly. I think the big issue with her game is the fact her volleying just isn't at the level at all. She's better from deep. She can hit the ball very clean, but I think... She's got to work on a lot more variety. And I don't think she's necessarily got them shots in abundance. That's oh, a good that's... shot from Raducanu, though. She goes down the line. Great winner from her. Yeah. And we are going to tire break. Wow. Really that's competitive. Break, yeah. Really competitive opening set. Not much separating these two. And a tire break will settle it. <laughs> Make sure you get your predictions in for the tie break. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Right, second serve to look at here for well Raducanu. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's very close. I think it's going to be like a 8-6. That's a double four. I'll go 8-6 Radu. Oh, yeah. Wait for the first point. Just help out a little bit. I don't bit. think it makes any difference. I think it could go either way. This. So you've got an eight six Raducanu. I think it's going to be a long one for some reason. I don't know why. That probably spells terrible. It means it's be seven one or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I might wait for a point myself. Yeah, well, I might do Ben's a... technique. Four point. Man, that's good. What are they doing? Yeah, no, it's, he said correction. The ball was good. The ball was yeah, definitely said, in. Yeah, he said correction. So they okay, called so it I'll, out, but right, then he yeah, corrected it straight away. Sure what's going on there? One all. I'm going to go with seven four Noskova. Not eight six. <laughs> no seven four for the Nos. We've got Lexi in seven four Emma. We've got Jean in with a seven three Emma. We've got uh, Boban with a seven four Noskova. He's joining me. Oh, Bob Am. Oh, good shot there. And I think she was trying to call it out. Is it? I wasn't sure on that one. Hard to call. Is out. Yeah. 
So that's Raddy Carly. What two one up? Yeah, that one for me. I don't it's know. I, w- I wouldn't have liked to have been there trying to call that. We've got Ayan going seven five Radu Kanu. Right. Why is, why have we got some Nadal stats coming up in the live chat now? <laughs> Paul coming in. We'll come get to that in a minute. We'll just cover this. That's the wrong one. Yeah. Oh, brilliant backhand that down the backhand. line. Great backhand. So really good. like that. So I think, I'm not sure if I prefer the backhand down the line or cross court. I think it's backhand. the one down the line. Brody kind of puts a thumbs up to that one. She appreciates right. a good shot. And this one's been over an hour, this opening set. Bill going 42-40 for the NOS. So we're on a world record here for Bill. Oh, just wide on the first serve. Oh, that ball boy was all over the place, huh? We're in the same colour as the court, which is a bit confusing. Second serves in. Radu kind of just gets it back in play. Bit of a tentative rally to start from both oh, it's players. Out. Yeah, it's just, just out. Radu kind mm-hmm. of gets the point. Good perseverance from her. And she leads 3-2 with a little mini break. I feel like as soon as they get in the rally, it's anybody's. It's not like no one really takes control. It's just about who goes for the big shot first. I think uh, who makes the mistake. Well, yeah, all that, yeah. I feel that they, that rally looked very tentative. Neither player really wanted to go for it. Radu needs the first serves. Or well, both players don't really have a very good second serve percentage. It gets the first serve there. In down the middle, Noskova steps in, but retreats back to the baseline. Good shot from her. Yeah, she's keeping Radu deep. And there's a forehand. It's clipped the net cord. And Ooh. she goes moon ball there. Oh, it's landed in. Quite an again. interesting one. And again. <laughs> Noskova, brilliant what? shot oh, down shot. the line. What a player she really is. Going Great toe-to-toe shot. with the US Open champion here at Roland Garros. 17 years old as well. She can get so much better than this. And she's playing amazingly right now to keep this one competitive. Yeah, Radu Kali trying something different there just to try and... See if Noskova's up to the job of hitting some winners. She proves that she is. Yeah, make right. sure if you haven't already hit the like button. We're three likes away from 100. Oh, nearly. We said we'd get it by the end of this first set. Lucky it went to tie break. Otherwise, we'd never met uh, 100, would we? Right, three all. And what were you saying? For seven, four, your one. So it's yep. still both, both of them still on. See if changing ends makes any difference. A lot of people wrapped up there in the crowd, like cocooned into a like raincoat there. Radu Kanu to serve. I thought she needs a break on this one. Oh, she's she missed the first second serve. serve. It's not a Radu's good won what 38%. Neither of them done won anything off their second serve, actually. It's not a good sign. But then she lost off her first serve on the last point, so it doesn't really mean a lot, I don't feel. It's only if not yeah, so cheap one. That, yeah. that one kicked up off the surface. Yeah. I think it caught the line. Maybe. They hit a bit of a weird mark. And Radu Kanu here for free. Well, we know when it hits the lines on those clay courts, mate. Yeah. It's it did very pop strong. up a little bit. One thing I hated <laughs> more than anything was when it hit the line. You yeah. seem to be quite good at hitting the service lines. Good serve down the tee from Noskova. Oh, Backhand down the line. Winner again. There's the same shot. Do you know when she hits the lines? It's like really on the line, isn't it? Look at this. How she hits so, quarters. It's very precise. I've noticed. Yeah. It's, it, you don't want it too close, but it's just enough inside. Right. Well, for all. Animal encounters. Very confident here. Emma's going to win the match. Good serve out wide there. Return. Forehand. That looks like a winner. Oh, she's kept it in, Raducanu. Forehand. Raducanu goes Come with on, the lob. Big smash. Smashed away. Well done, Moscova. Two points away. She leads 5-4 now. You've got Senya Hokaj saying, Emma's tennis is so weak. Wow. I mean, cheers to our new member as well. Yeah. Look at that. It's it's nice updated one, Updated on the, on the uh, top tip of leaderboard. Great to have you in. Throw How'd some you emojis. Uh, NF. NFS Dans. Okay. Yeah, shout out to NFF Stans. NFS Dans for becoming the new <laughs> newest tricky. YouTube member. Tricky. Um, there's your shout out. Back good backhand return. Forehand from Raducanu. Big point this one. 
It's massive for Jake. Oh, it's a winner. It is. Vamos, wow. Set point. What a shot. Set point for the Nos. It's like a bullet, that one. That. Oh, what a point. What a player. No return in that. On the slide as well. What did they say? Players yeah. who can slide into a shot. The Six real deal, four. man. Good serve down the tee. Out Ooh. into the backhand. He's down the done line. it. Just like there that. There it is. 7-4. Seven seven four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Noskova. 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 She's up for set. 17 years old. Incredible talent. And she's playing so well here. She's hitting a lot of winners as well. I'm liking, I'm liking the confidence she has to be out here against Radikanu, who... I can imagine being a little intimidating now, looking at her the other side of the net. We know oh, she's been absolutely so. in the game. She's got a bit of a court presence. From well, she's she's made it herself, and Noskova's not been not been afraid at all. I think she did start off very afraid. She's grown in confidence, and she wins the first set, seven four in the tie break. I think. And it's... me and Bob Ann called it. Well done to Bob Ann as well. <laughs> yeah, is I think the turning point in that set was four three, wasn't it? Like she was looking like. It could all go wrong yeah. uh, at 4-3. Uh, but she held, stuck it. Or was it 4-2? I think that there was a very close point at one of those in one of those games and she managed to pull through it. And then after that, she's not looked back. She's been hitting yeah. loads of winners. Look at the winners. 26 winners. Yeah. I mean, she's been the better player. I think, I know it was tie break, but I feel Noskova deserved to win before it got to a tie break. Probably just the nerves mm. in the first set let her down. But after the first few games... She was the better player throughout. And I think the stats support that. Yeah, Radu Kanu, a little bit passive, but you can only really do what uh, you can against the opponent who's down the other end. If they're a very attacking player, you can you sometimes have to go into defensive mode. And I know some people are saying she's playing very weak. Well, she's trying to somehow muster up like a, a winner off of a defensive position. And that's sometimes a very difficult thing to do. Uh, she's still, it's still a very, I don't know, a positive match on winners to unforced errors for both players. Just, we've just seen the best come out of the check. That's all. Yep. All right. It's going to be an interesting set. second set, this one. Is Radu going to come storming back? We'll have to wait and see what she's made of. Yeah, maybe we just take this opportunity to announce our sponsor of Ooh, the video, yeah. A Peak Tennis. Uh, and Radu Khanu could do with it right now, I believe. I'm the most guilty of playing freely during practice, but then going to pieces during the match and playing very passively. This new app by Apeak Tennis, it changed the game. One session and I was already hitting with more controlled aggression on the court. If you spend five to 15 minutes of focused time utilizing Apeak Tennis, then over time you will expand your mental skills and start playing great during competition. A Peak Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Leia, who helped 17 athletes become world number one, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Carrier, Monica Seles, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At A Peak, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable. For less than $6 a month, build annually you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process plus this offer comes with an additional seven day free trial so if you are unhappy you can cancel for free ap tennis is already used by so many top u.s college teams and top players tennis is full of fine margins with ap tennis it does give you the competitive advantage ap tennis take care of up there. Well, uh, will Raducanu require a peak tennis to get her back into this match? She definitely needs some sort of mental training. Something upstairs needs to change this match around. Does she go more aggressive? Does she change it up and have more variety? Or is there just nothing she can do to stop Noskova? We're going to find out. Yeah, Noskova here uh, and Raducanu back out on court. Raducanu took a quick toilet break. 
uh, just to regather her thoughts. Look in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, one of them tough talks to herself. She's trading a set here to the 17-year-old. Sam H saying Emma is just so frustrating to watch. Oh, definitely when she serves like that. God, that was a bit of a weak one. A little up. Looked like it had no power in it at all, that one. What happened to it? Here we go. Raducanu, good serve there. And it's long from Noskova on the return. We've got Thomas Rowley in the chat saying, John Silk, I hope you charged an appearance fee for the ad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. He, he charged a lot. He's expensive. <laughs> it's, it's fee. He's not cheap. Alexis saying, Emma, make sure to not to take the medical time out. You know how JG thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's scared. I mean, why are you so scared if it's a genuine thing? <laughs> Buzz not saying, That's before saying. I picked tennis, I was boring, but now I'm boisterous. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. It did improve. My lack of boring tennis was uh, changed. A winner from Noskova again. She means business here in Roland Garros. Hopefully, because I've got her in the fourth round, I believe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone big. Go big or go home. Happy one, Sam. Why does John Silk always doubt Rafa? <laughs> it's a good it's question. Just his, just his thing, I think. It's a love-hate relationship, I think. Get tuned into the Silk Report later for see how he feels about Rafa's performance today. We've got Anilwin saying, Emma's trying to wrong-foot her opponent too many times. It's becoming very predictable. Well, Noskova's guessed her a few times, and that's the thing. If you go the same way all the time, you're going to have a smart opponent. They're just going to stop running. See people like Djokovic do it on quite a lot of occasions. Start guessing your opponent. Second serve, uh, and she's really going to need to up the percentage of points one oh. of her second serve. Yeah, and this is what's been happening in the first set as well. Yeah, I, I don't like it. She normally misses the serve after a bad ball toss. Not this time, but it's a great return. She's already on the oh, back foot. Oh, painting lines. Another, another from winner. Deep. Nothing Raducanu can do. Look at her. She's just standing there, just rooted to the spot. Look at this one. Amazing. Nice on the line as well. I think it's outside edge as well, that one. No chance. Right, you kind of like, oh, I used to do that at the US Open. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those days. That used to be fun. Good return there from Noskova. She's got her on the back foot already. Raducanu about two meters behind Out. the baseline. That one. That's the one thing she has done not very well today. Uh, volleying, and yeah. a lot of the time where there's no pressure whatsoever, she just hits one long. It's the risk and reward type style of play for her. I think no, she but it's likes... like when she's not attacking, she's just trying to like keep the ball back in. She's not. She so wants good to at keep that. her deep though. All the that's what she, she goes a bit the too deep. Game for it with when she got broken straight away, she was trying to keep it so deep on the court yeah. it was going long. But I understand it because you can see Raducanu doesn't like being behind the baseline. She must have done her homework. Don't let it inside the court. Raducanu goes on the attack. Then that one's long. It's a bit of an easy hold, that one. Bit of a shock, but she still yeah. had a really good winner in that in that game, Noskova. Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to all the members as well. I know we've got different emotes next to your name. And Aslan's one who's been there for a while. I may think of, I might replace the Aslan one because seeing as he's fallen mm. off a little bit, I feel we need a better Noskova. player. So <laughs> Who wants putting Noskova on though? He's, he's up I'm, for it. I put Noskova I might get a button for Noskova. I might get a lot of things for Noskova soon. Um, not a button, what's it called? An emo t shirts a lot. Um, but yeah, guys, any members out there, let me know who would you like next to your name rather than Karatsev. So, all of those who are in that Karatsev stage, I might get rid of him and put someone else. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, do you want a Raducanu? For me, it's somebody who has to be like sort of new on the scene. That's why I did that one because Karatsev was new on the scene last year, sort of. I think it's got to be a Noskova. I don't know. <laughs> have to too, wait and see. It's a bit too soon, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think that you don't put the pressure on, the unneeded pressure that she doesn't need. Maybe Alcaraz. Is he on there? I don't think so. Maybe we'll stick Alcaraz on. Yeah, I think that makes much more sense. Come on. How has he not got one? 
Yeah, we've got to put Carlitos on there. Carlitos. It's, and Sinner's definitely on there, isn't there? Yeah, maybe we'll remove him for Eager. Yeah, true. I think they're all men's ones on there at the yeah. moment. We're, we're going to give them a little mix-up, guys. So bear with us. Uh, if you do want to join the membership and get your emotes and support the channel, please do. Hit the join button. It really does mean the world to me and Ben. And that's a yeah. better volley Good from volley. Moscow. Great shot. 30 love. The impressive thing as well from Noska in the first set is she did four double faults yet still came out with the set win as well. So she wasn't really good on her serve or well, worse than Radu Kanu, it would seem, but still yeah. managed to get it done. Got more game, Ben. She's more aggressive. Just a better player. On clay, quite possibly. <laughs> I think she'd beat her at the US Open as well. I don't know. I've never seen her play before. This is the first time I'm seeing her even on the court. So it's just like I have no idea. I have no uh, answers. She did lose to 350 the other day on clay, uh, literally a few weeks ago. 6-1, 6-1. Might no? have been injured. No, it can happen, man. That's what I'm saying. It's a very unpolished product. But if you see little snippets of her, you can see what kind of player she is. And we're seeing the better version of her. I mean, I wouldn't have been that shocked today if she come here and lost 6-2, 6-2 to Radu Kanu. Because that can happen when you're developing, for sure. However, she's, we're seeing the better version of her right now. Or she and just loves it at Roland Garros. Great match. She might just love it at Roland Garros. might just be her place. You know when you have like certain horses that perform well only at certain tracks? Yeah. Could a bit be like, like you, that, actually, in Stratford. I mean, when we play in Stratford, you're a lot better than on the clay courts. I think you're more of a Stratford man. I don't know. The last day on the clay. It's been, I haven't had eight yeah. peak tennis in Stratford yet. <laughs> Exactly. I have to see how I peak tennis Stratford. But saying that, I think depend that that maybe you are more of a clay court because the last clay court slower. match you played was the best one. I just need more time to get to the ball to, to carry this belly around the court. I don't think you're I mean, a Coliseum man. The Coliseum day, <laughs> he's uh, not a man who can play in an arena. He needs a bit of wind blowing across the court. I've noticed. I like a, yeah, I like a good challenger atmosphere. <laughs> Noskova does hold one all. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weak backhand into the got, net there from Raducanu. You've got Yashas asking who's winning the match. Well, Ben thinks Emma. I think Noskova pre-match. I don't know if that's changed, but I still think it's a very close one. I think it's in the balance for sure. Uh, I'm watching I feel it, Nos there's not been much between. I think Noskova's hit the better shots. She's definitely the better player uh, in hitting winners. Shot that is. Good shot. Slice Amazing there. What a shot. Nasty slice. From a defensive position, that as well. Yeah. She had no right to win it. we got another couple of matches just started off. Martin Fuchovic has just started off, and he's 5-2 up, serving for the set against Blankano. Ooh. And yep. Mikhail Ema is 5-2 up as well, serving against Duckworth. And Attila Balazs is on against Marin Cilic. Oh, Kontovic's back. 4 all. Oh, nice. Cheers. <laughs> My bracket. <laughs> Who did you what? You have Blanca now? No, I said Contavit's back. Oh, Contavit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just back on serve. Cash in. Two sets to one up against Gombos now. Ooh. Oh, big Ooh, shots good. again. Emma's just defending. That one hits Weird the baseline. Weird bounce. Emma, she takes the pace off it. Yeah, that was out. Oh. Just out. Go and have a look at that girl, Nosco. Go and have a look at that line, Nosco. Yeah, I think she's accepted. Well, it, yeah, was, it, it was the it was when it's, it was close, but it was always just fading the wrong side. When it's the it? line that's closest to the umpire, I always tend to trust them a bit more. When it's the further one, I'm like, mm, go check that. <laughs> I don't know if Yash I trust. Here says he has money on Emma. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> I think the odds are even good enough, unless you put it on one point three. Yeah, not, well, yeah, maybe in play, but still. After watching the first set, I wouldn't. Like, if you see the winner count between the two players, I think that was enough to put you off backing Emma. Kesmanovic is being pinned back from Echeverry. Uh, McDonald looked like he's going to be going to a tie break. Oh, really? In a fourth set. Oh, wow. That one's really uh, up and down, that match. Yeah, I know Liam's got him for beat the odds <laughs> loves it he's gone with two Americans today Americans on the clay Noskova going yeah, back to that it. forehand side great shot Radu Kanu and it threw her off 
She went back the same way again and uh, Noskova couldn't handle it 30 all. Yeah, you got a feeling you got to fight fire with fire with Noskova. That's the problem. You got to try and go one bigger than her. I'm just loving listening to you talking about Noskova like this, Ben. It's great that you're finally on on the train. Yeah, man. I'm it. always I'm always on the train. If there's a good tennis player on the tour, I would always cheer him on. I like to see good tennis. Like what I'm, time I'm Shankon? Glad... Is that today or tomorrow? I don't know. She's probably going to give Halep uh, a run <laughs> for her money. Are we watching Shank Halep tomorrow? I don't I know. You've got to. Got to work. I don't think you've got Shank in your bracket, though, have you? You went Halep. She wasn't oh, in the... crafty little drop she... shot from Noskova. She gets the break point. She wasn't in the bracket. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. the thing. She's a lucky loser. Yeah, yeah. She didn't even make it in. If anything, all it's going to do is just embarrass her probably a bit more. Have another loss. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it, man. I think how we should your, cover How it. are your men's getting on anyway? <laughs> <laughs> They're all, all out. They're all, they're all. Oh, what? All of them? Well, Varillas did amazing. I know. No. I don't know if you caught the Silk report, but he gave me a good shout out against Felix. I know. Oh, backhand go, down the line. Linda Noskova. She's up a set. She's up a break. She's the young new prodigy on tour. Brilliant player. And this is, listen, she's actually playing extremely well. Raddy Khan is not doing much wrong, but just being schooled by the better player at the moment. Um, another yeah, break. Bit of a kick in. And listen, if you are Radu Kani, you're probably thinking, why did I draw this girl? I mean, out of oh, all the yeah. qualifiers to draw, she was the qualifier to watch. That was the one you wanted to avoid, and she drew her. Why didn't I get Shunk? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's thinking that. Or Niemeyer. I don't know. Niemeyer, you never know. I don't know. It <laughs> might have just been because of, I don't know, Sloan's a bit of a weird one to have come up against. Sloan sometimes. Whatever oh, Radu Kani up... beats Sloan. Yeah, Sloan, I don't even know. If, is she that good on clay or not? I, I have no idea. She's got an incredible record, Sloan Stevens, Ben, in the first round of Roland Garros. I believe she only lost once there before. It's, it's like a really going. good first round of Roland Garros record, Sloan Stevens. So a nightmare matchup for uh, a qualifier. Yeah. Whereas sucks. for Radu Kano, this is just a nightmare for her because Noskova is a very good player, like I've been saying. And Right now, she's being she's get, seeing the work the, the brunt of that. We've got Petter in, someone who is supporting Linda, saying, yes, Linda, go, go, go. <laughs> Loving it. And uh, John Silk sends Kerber in a spot above a 5-1 down to Freck oh, wow. in the first set. I thought she was the dark horse. <laughs> Everyone's dark horse for the tournament. I don't didn't see many. I think we all know that Kerber's not really there at the moment. I know she's just one of... Did she win the event in the end, that one? Um, I think she did, but come yeah. on. She did, yeah. Doesn't fill me with confidence. She beat, who did she beat? Parry, Sasnovich, Lynette, Dodin, and Yuvan. Oh, we've got Dubai as well, also supporting Noskova. Good to see. I mean, where's all the Raducanu fans? That's what I said, mate. I don't, th I think when people see. I think see... it's you. You need to get them out. Get them out, Ben. Bring them out. No, I think that they go in. Like, because when she's not doing well, that's like, uh, it's very typical of what fans are like when you come onto YouTube. People just go in and out as and when. Like the Djokovic fans disappear quite often as well. So you think Raducanu fans are like Djokovic fans? Possible. Oh, it's wide. It's probably she even managed to get that one back over the net. Are they gonna have, I think they're gonna have a look at the ball mark. Noskova, sure. as far as I'm aware, I think Noskova thought this ball was in. That's why she hit it. No, he's out. out. It's definitely out. out. Yeah. Well, they. I, I wonder why they were checking. I why wonder is which even hitting it? Just leave it. I wonder what shot they were checking. I was like, really? That one? Clearly out. So we've got Max with fifty quid on Radu Kanu on this set. <laughs> well, the, I bet the odds know how are to draw you in, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I bet the odds are quite good. The, the, the bookies, the bookies love to offer some good odds for Radu Kanu. Oh, double fault. Maybe. Don't know. 
that's a bit of a weird one, but she's allowing a no better time to give one this away. Is, we're gonna, it's gonna be opportunities, right? Just for the record, as well, guys, Noskova doesn't have this wrapped up at all. Like, she's so like she can fall apart any moment, she's not at that level where she's consistent enough. But this is just for me a great highlight of how well she can play, and that's all we're seeing. We're just seeing her at her best and what she's able to produce. Doesn't mean she's gonna beat Radu Kanu here today. But we've, I think, already she's shown how, how well she's she Cushioning play. the blow, <laughs> just in case. No, I'm not like cu covering the, the all angles. <laughs> I'm just telling how it is. Then it always makes me laugh. I know you'd say the same to me if I was to say the same. <laughs> I don't know. You're not really in a strong position to say too much. I just called the Rafa match six two six two six two. I called this one loss of a tie break seven four. <laughs> it is long from Noskova there, and it is the break. And it's a bit of a weak break, that one, to be honest. Believe it or really. not, listen to what I'm calling now. I think Radu Khan's going to win this one in three sets. Oh, <laughs> What's he oh, doing no. now? He's covering no. even more bases. No, I'm, He's I'm not just... even covering. It's like, well, if That's she wins, what... I win. If Radu wins, I win. I win all the time. <laughs> Look, he can't lose. Just puts his puts a little bit of money on every result, and then I win. <laughs> it's the break back. <laughs> I'm just saying, listen, it's a big ass for what she's been able to do here. Bet you're fun she's to playing go to amazing. The, bet you're fun to go to the horse racing with. Which one do you bet on? Oh, I bet on all eight of them. Definitely going to win. <laughs> I bet you're fun as well. You go, oh, what will you bet? Oh, I'm going to bet on Ben's birthday because he's got my name on it. And then I'll <laughs> put 50 then quid on him. And the horse has three legs. Oh, it had a nice Normally name, though. Normally does. Attila Balaj doing well on his return to Roland Garros. Bagel. In the first set from Chilich. Sad to see. No, of course. By the way, for the record, I am cheering on Moskva. I would like to see her win. If I had to make a prediction, though, I think Radu kind of takes this one in three. <laughs> and uh, listen, I put my neck on the line on the channel. Um, we've had enough of, well, we know what Boren Ben's like. He only doesn't, he doesn't make very many predictions at all. He often uh... sighs away from them. Um, because then you can never be wrong. If you don't make a prediction, you don't put your neck in line, you can never be wrong. I just you can never the, be right let as the well. Bracket, let's just let the brackets decide. That's what I always say. Yeah, that's why we do the brackets. Because otherwise, well, we'd never yeah. know what Ben's thinking. We wouldn't. No. We know what JG's thinking. It's always the same one in every bracket. So you think What's it's that? me with the boring one. Asaka's through every time and is. And Rafa wins every one. So doesn't, nothing about changes. about the women? Oh, Eager wins. <laughs> same as yours then. Wow. It's natural progression, isn't it? it? used to be Ashley Barty in all your brackets, and she retired. Oh, now, the new number, next Open? number one. Who won the Australian Open? Eager. Yeah, good one. We've got you ever saying, JG, Reddy Khan has a bad record when she goes down a set. Yeah, I don't listen. When I say Radu yeah. can win this in three, I'm not really putting much on Radu Khan who calls in that. I just purely think that uh, Noskova is going to struggle. Um, Oh, look at her ear. She's just fallen over. <laughs> hit right out. Good her. shot. Right. Good shot. But well, well played, volley, Radu yeah. I just feel for her, someone as unpolished as she is in a in a first grand slam, not playing against these top athletes. I think physically, it's going to take her toll on her body more than anything. It's going to take her some time to to get going, and that's why she what? could ultimately lose this one. So you think not playing much on tour will take a bigger toll on a, a player's body? Okay. Good yeah, especially that. when you're this young, Ben. 17, oh, okay. I mean, it's a very young age. It's very 19, delicate. 18. Yeah, I know. I get what you mean. When you hit 18, that's an extra year on top, you see. Yeah, I know. So it works. 12 months. I know. Car. Lucky you explained that. I'm glad that you know that when players at this age, then their bodies are a little bit more, more susceptible Ooh. to an injury. I'm not talking about susceptibility to injury. I'm not saying Noskova's going to get injured at all. I'm just, oh, okay. I'm just saying the fact that it's going to be difficult for her physically to be competing with an athlete who's played well, what, in for several, me, three I Grand Slams, won a Grand sure. Slam, loads of Masters events and played for a year on tour now, Radu Khan. That's what for she me, has I done. Think that this, for me, I think that she's definitely got the ability to win this one in two sets. I don't think, I, by dressing cool. it up, by saying that she could, Listen, Radu Khan is going to win I, this I in hope two. you're right, boy. I hope you are right, Benny. I think boy. you're just going to downplay it because you don't want to get too over the top. But you've based upon no. the body of work in this match so far, I would say this one probably goes to another tie break. 
That's what I, it looks like. Look at it's on juice on Radu Kanu's serve here. We've had the last one. It was a break. Then we had a break before that as well. It's anyone's. Yeah, it's a poor forehand yeah. there. I think but... she's struggling now. Noska a little bit. How long is the match? Hour and a half so far. Yeah. So it's not that's too that's bad. the problem. So this is why if Moskova had to get it done, she had to get it done a lot sooner. I think it's um it's gonna be really difficult for her to maintain this. How long were her qualifying matches? That's be interesting to find out. Yeah, but it's different, Ben. I'm she's not no offense to the people she played in the qualifiers, they're not Raducanu. No, but I'm just saying Raducanu's the twelfth seed how in long the event. On court was she on court? Because I know she had one that went to three. Uh, that was against Perrin. Don't really yeah. know much about Connie. Perrin. Yeah, oh yeah. I remember we had this conversation yep. before. Yeah, <laughs> see, that one went to three. It was two hours, five minutes. So this one could potentially go similar. And that's over maybe only two sets. Yeah, anyway, well played Raducanu. Leading here 3-2. And certainly now the favourite to take the match. <laughs> And of course, thanks everyone who has liked the video. We're up to 100 likes. I think we might have already pressed it, but I'm going to press it again. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. <music> On serve here, Noskova trailing 2-3. Her levels dropped quite a bit uh, these last sort of 10 minutes or so which I guess is kind of expected. It is a massive occasion for her. But regardless of that, we've seen some great signs and just a real good showcase of her ability and what, what is to come at, the, well, 17. I mean, give her sort of a few years. It's a bit like Coco Goff when she sort of come through at Wimbledon that time. I believe she beat Venus Williams, uh, lost to, is it, did she lose to Lynette or beat Lynette? But she had some... Um, some some really good matches and it, it showcased her ability. She's not really sort of lived up to that really much since, but maybe someone like a Coco can go deep in this event where her draw is quite favourable. And I think we may see similar here from Noskova, but she's done great already this match. We're still on serve, so we can't rule her out. But I've just had a feeling Raducanu is going to start probably growing into this one um, slowly but surely. Uh, we've got NFS, so one of our new members. Shout out to you. So has Raducanu got past the injury issues or is that still a concern for Roland Garros? I mean, certainly is a concern. Um, I've always doubted her injury issues, some of them anyway, that we often see when she's losing. But there certainly is some kind of injuries which she does generally um, suffer with. And you, I think you'll get that being a younger player, maybe sort of not grown into her body fully. Um, but right now, no injuries whatsoever. She seems to be moving well, uh, and both players, no issues whatsoever. That's a good first serve from Noskova. She goes down the line that time to the backhand of Raducanu. Raducanu gets it down. Oh, big winner, Noskova. Great shot from a 40-15. Oh. <laughs> Sean's comment, did you read that already? Sean's one. JG's fence sitting is a marvel. <laughs> it's not fit. Listen, it's not fence sitting. I'm just saying it as it is. I've never fence. I've never fe fence sitted in my life. I'm not going to start now. Good to know. All right, good shot there down the line. Good slice there. Oh, into the corner from yeah, Radikar. Good, good bit of top spin on that. Yeah. But she's fighting uh, against the. Well, the score line at the moment, 40-30. Can she get one more? Take us to a deuce here. We've got Elias, uh, no, Mikel uh, Ema, uh, up a set and a break to Duckworth. Attila Balas right now. Long. He's lost seven games in a row. <laughs> Attila Balas. What's he doing there anyway? I don't think he should be in there. I don't think it's the right time for him. Kuda Matova, sir, well, one game away from the first set. Kontovic, Tomjanovic in a tie break. Yeah, 
close one that. Liam was happy, was he, with his win? Oh right, is that? Oh yeah, McDonald has finished, so he won. I didn't even see that. Could have met if I doing well as well. Maybe somebody not people aren't talking about enough. Yeah, but she in the eager half. Can't remember. I'll have a look. I think she is because they're playing the oh, same. Big dirt. winner oh. there from Noskova. Nice forehand. Raducanu allowing it to sit up. Uh, just trying to find though, is she? Um, uh, yeah, I think she is. I think she's in the bottom half of the top. John's wondering why there's not much talent coming out of the UK. Probably not enough courts, not enough funding, um, yeah. and not enough support from the government here. That's the top and bottom of it. We end up just nicking them from other countries all the time. Come over to Britain if you're a good tennis player and we'll uh, fund you. What about just some of the homegrown people? Jack Draper, that's probably that the only one I can think of at the moment. Oh, oh good oh, shot down the line. Again. Big backhand. Avoid the backhand. Here. Come on, Moscow. Warning. Let's give a break, please. Warning. Avoid the backhand. Please. Come on. I think she'd probably be best off just hitting it down the middle if I was Radu Kane. Oh, really but... looking forward to the short Ben's going to post after this video. Yeah, you're going to have to send me a clip. No, I'm sure you can have a little look, bro. No, I can't. Not got any time. <laughs> <laughs> you found the other one, all right? Didn't need me to send you a clip for her. the Barre one. What was I that? found the clip. I found a clip for the other one as well. I can't just be doing all the clips. You can clip them and send them and I'll make it. Okay. I'll send you a few clips. Can you put a few together? Oh, it's another oh, winner off the serve. Winner. Vamos, Linda. Love 40. How far did you have Raducanu in your bracket? Just a couple of rounds. Then out to Halep. Was it Halep? Someone like that. Yeah. I can't remember. I've got Noskova playing Halep and then she goes out. Is it Halep? I'm getting confused myself now. I thought it was, but can't I'm always like... be Halep, surely. I mean, Ray Carter and Halep, I feel <laughs> that matchup has been talked about for so many times, it never happens. We've got Kerber, maybe, if she got or Freck, or I'm not sure. Or she's sure got Ray this... Carter on the run. Kvitova. Is she gonna finish it off? Yes, Jabur. she does. She breaks to love. Brilliant from Moskova. She leads. Four for it's a game to love break. Don't know who it was. You make it make yeah. that button, Ben. Yeah, all right, I can't do it. Can we do it right now? Not now. Am I lagging or are you lagging? Yeah, I don't know. It's lagging. Like it seems like you're lagging. Let us know in the live chat. I don't know. It's yeah, saying think... your picture on mine has gone really bad, but I don't know. If... Yeah, on mine, yours has gone bad, but I've got the little Wi-Fi thing, so it might be me. Yeah, mine's just a cable connect. So I don't know. Cable guy. Cable guy. Rachel in saying, "Wow, Noska was a great talent." Yeah, she really is. Definitely. Maybe she'll become Roland Garros champion. Then we'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> Would we? <laughs> I hate to say. Oh, I think I'd so, have but... to quit the podcast if that happens. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever be able to come back on a stream again. <laughs> yeah, I need to tone it down. But I have I bigged her up so much. I mean, I did try warning you all. You bigged it up and then you suddenly... You know there's started... tennis podcast as well. There was laughing at her like, oh, I'm not sure who she is, but she did look good in qualifying. It's another correct... They don't have a clue they are. I mean, oh, you should go God. join them, if I'm honest. They've got another spot. Oh, I just didn't have time. Sorry, man. And we get Gil Gross. I don't, I don't have as much spare time as you. <laughs> I wish I'm I did. i going to get me a Gil on. A bit more tennis sure, expertise. Sure knew. Sure knew she Probably was. not. That's what I mean. Tweener. No, right? No one has time scanning the ITFs like you. No one has all that spare time. <laughs> I didn't even scan them. She's not even played that many matches. There's about seven oh. matches on there. Just when you know, you know, Ben. Oh, Apparently so. Out. Here we go. Love 30. Uh-oh. 
There you go. 12 travel saying talent comes and goes in cycles. You can't expect to produce a Mari or a Tim Hemman every two or three years. Well, Draper could be one. I think maybe in a couple of years might might be doing well. It's an ace. Did well against Rublev. Don't know. In my opinion, that's an ace. Did the umpire call it out though, didn't they? Let's have a little look. Yeah. Don't know. These lines look a lot fatter I mean, than the ones we played on. Once we were like little look like draw it with a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Can return from Raducanu now down the line. That's long from Raducanu yep. under no pressure cheap. there. Very cheap. Fifteen thirty. Kezmanovic has got a set point in the second. Ooh, taking a while that match. Seems like it's a long match for just and two Chilich, sets. Nine games in a row. <laughs> Poor Attila Balas. Uh, is he just going to retire? Don't don't get the triple bagel. Good serve. Great serve again. And I don't know what you mean. There is actually a lot of people supporting Noskova. Definitely is. Like I've Surprising heard from amount. the start. Like they they seem. Visible. It's probably a lot of a team of family and like a little section. I think people just like the next big thing. Everyone wants to yeah, say I, I was I don't there. Think people realise that she was when she they come in. I but think they, she's got her own like, little posse. They probably like, have like group. a program and things like that telling you about the players. I'm sure people are aware. And then they announce it before they go on. This is the junior Roland Garros. Yeah, but champion. they did that for Giacomo. They weren't all at Giacomo's match. Oh, mate, they love a bit of Giacomo. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's not, your argument's falls for every time. These people, I think she just brings like a big group together, which is what, cool. saying it's like Attila Balaj? No, I think <laughs> she's got a team and say like, there's about 20, 30 people watching her there who support her, maybe friends and family, and they're just going nuts every time she gets something. Rather Connie doesn't great. have anyone there. She does, but they're not going as crazy as <laughs> Linda's family and friends. Yeah, they're just like they're probably sat in a Porsche somewhere. Just, I mean, Radicon doesn't like out. her family there. They weren't there for the U.S. Open. That wasn't our choice, though. <laughs> that was just like COVID. No, but she, I remember in her interview, she was saying, back. "I prefer the pressure off me." <laughs> you want to say a little piece from her? I was going to say it's the second time that. She's broken and got brought straight back again for Noskova. I don't think she really did much there. I feel like this racket uh, of Noskova's is deciding this match. And do that's little, it. Do you want to give a little come on for Raducanu? Let's go. Yeah, and as you said, the business end. Yeah. yeah. So, I think if you were to look at the draw and then have her in your first round, imagine if you were to have like one of the other players. I think I'd rather pick like one of the people who actually like we're just in the draw from the start rather than one of the qualifiers. I feel like she's a worse person to play. I think I could pick a hand. Yeah, only, only her. Like, I don't know. The, the other qualifiers, I'd, no, I'd rather her. have. That's what I mean. I mean her. Like if you could have had like, there's even some other players on the tour that I reckon Rado can't do better against than her. Like that's what if, I mean. If it I was think... like say Buxar or Sunk or one of the others, you'd prefer them, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. But I'd say that not even a qualifier. I'd say somebody oh, right. who actually made it in like Legit, I reckon that she's probably a worse hey, score than some of them. <laughs> why, why Katie Swan? No, I don't think Katie Swan got in. I mean, Harriet Dart, <laughs> yeah, Swan, I've done better actually. <laughs> yeah, Dart had a bit of a terrible one, embarrassing. There right, you got Randy Carnu here though, 30 15. Needs to find some first serves, not been the best, 60%. Uh, only winning 63% of the first serves. Second serves. Good one down the tee. Ooh, nice out. forehand. The thing is with Radu Khan, she's not really putting much depth on her shots. And as I say that, she does. Uh, <laughs> Big <laughs> typical, shot. Typical. She jumped it? into it. 
big powerful forehand and now looking to go 5-4 up. Still have the feeling Raducanu is going to win this one in three. I don't know. I can't shake it at the moment. I don't know. For me, it's in the balance. I've, I've said earlier on, I reckon tie break again in this one. And I just think it's a coin flip when you get to that. If Radu plays more like that, well, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's a out. game there. For, it's a consolidation. Yeah. Good positioning for this set. But yeah, the one thing I wanted to say, like based upon like that uh, Noskova being for me better than a lot of the people who are actually got into the draw normally. If Radu Kanu comes back from a set down against her and wins, I think it's probably going to be more, I'll be more impressed with that than I probably would with her beating one of the other ones. Like the field that she's actually seems a lot more aggressive. It's 39 wins. Yeah, not really. It's 39 she's expected winners. to win against Noskova. Yeah, I know, That's but I just think, yeah, but you've got to look at everything. I'm not talking about just the bookies. I'm talking about being at that age and not having any experience against top players. For example, who is the best player Noskova's ever played before? I don't know. Is it someone from the qualifying? No, I'm just, it's not a trick question. I don't know. I'm asking you. I don't know. I, you did the research, not me. <laughs> I did do. I don't know why you keep saying that. I did research. There's about seven games to look at. <laughs> beat Jean Jean. See, look how yeah. good she is. Jean so Jean's is, amazing. So that was Chloe, probably her best Chloe ever Paquette. event. Yeah. Jack and Mar, she's beating them all. Look yeah, at her. There's not many matches to go off. That's what I'm trying to say. And she's not played anyone big. So for, for me, she played Greek Minin and lost in straight sets, for example, oh, in February. Greek can do that too. She beat Bronzetti. What are you talking about? Yeah, but not the real top players she's not beaten. Bronzetti's Bronzetti not a top good. player. She's not, Ben. We're talking top 100 sort of thing. What top 100 players has she beaten before? Oh, I don't know. Exactly. To, this, this, what, this, is my, this is what I'm trying to say to you. So for me to suggest that she should come in and beat Radu Khan is ridiculous. I mm. think she's capable because she's so good and she will be eventually, but it just has the feeling Radu Khan should be able to win this in three and navigate it. But I think physically to be a top 100 player, it takes some real doing. And have, we it's, it's seen, tough. have we seen from Radu Khan that type of fight though in matches where she does come back from a set down because she's got a yeah, terrible yeah, record she's gonna, after losing she's gonna the first do it. it's love 30 here double fault nos cover she does radu kind and listen i'm not looking at this match thinking radu kind looks good i mean she plays mm. a top 100 player in the next round which is likely who's doesn't matter who it is Ooh. there's a good chance she can lose as long as they've got something because she's not played very well here radu unfortunately but nos i don't think she's played that a good badly though run. i think that she's played, that played bad, a lot no. better than her that's the that's the problem Raducanu needs to try and get the ball nearer to the baseline, but it's difficult because she's on the back foot a lot of the time. And that one's into the net, and the big yep. cheer from that little section of the crowd again. Yeah! <laughs> it, was, it reminded me of the Diane Parry match earlier. Everything cried. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. Hit into the net. Uh, it just, the bigger roar from the crowd, but fair play. I mean, Krychikova was winding them up a bit. 15-30, a massive point right now. And Oscar has managed to keep the wall from the door, so to speak, for that first one. For example, the only WTA match she played was a qualification in Belgrade. And she lost 6-1, 6-1 to Wang. Oh, into the net there from Radu Khan. That's a poor return. Such a big so point as well. To suggest you can beat Radu Khan, is pretty out there. I think she's, she's one of done the it players, before. though. Like a beat, like she's a more beatable player. She though, can do it. Else. She's going to become a good player, right, Noskova? For sure, we agree on this that. This could be a coming out party. Great forehand down the line, Noskova. Raducanu's long on the no. shot and from Love Thirty. Come on. She takes it to forty thirty. Good resilience, isn't it, to do that? Yeah, that one. It was looking like the risk. set was over. She didn't manage to get the uh, set point, though. This is the thing. Raducanu Ooh. wasted two opportunities on Noskova's serve there to be able to just get it back in play, make her play a shot. She hit it in the net twice. Let's see if she's able to do anything with this one. Good serve from Noskova there, though. And there's the backhand. Raducanu needs to keep the ball a bit lower. 
Good depth on that one. Forehand into the corner. Noska a forehand and Raducanu has messed that one up. Come on, and it is five Brilliant. all. What a hold. She's held from love 30 down there. And this one's gone five all. Raducanu, not good enough, if I'm honest. No, it was very I don't think poor. Noska really hit any good shots. It was just Raducanu making error after error. Yeah. Not good at all. Actually, uh, not good enough. When the pressure uh, points came, she did not step up to the plate. Uh, we got on to 122 likes on the video. If you haven't hit the like button yet, whack it now and subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. We're going to be covering Djokovic later on. He's playing Nishioka. See how the reigning champion gets on in his first match back at Roland Garros. Oh, great depth on that one from Raducanu. I'm not sure if she meant for that one to go so deep. That one's terrible. No, too deep. Sure what, what was the purpose of hitting that I shot? I know she tried it, but I think she was a bit frustrated. The, the ball before come back and then tried to go too much into the corner and struggled. Yeah, she's searching for answers in the wrong places at the moment for me. Get the basics right and the rest will just come into play. That's long on the first serve, yeah. and now another second serve. They've Nos improved her second serves slightly in the second set. Noskova was swatting them away in the first. Yeah. There you go. She goes for it again. That was the yeah. one that she was swatting away, that backhand. Yeah, missed it. I would have still done the same, though. I would have said go for it. Got, Any second you got serve. got go for it, yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. 15 all. Taking her time. Good serve down the tee. Backhand. Good depth on this one. Oh, good backhand. And Raducanu just seems to be on the back foot in these rallies. Again, look, she's been pushed around. Another forehand. Radu has to she loop on the it other up. way. Oh, good smash. Just about. Good, good smash. In. Surprised she went back that way. I think maybe a bit of inexperience talking, but it did work out for her in the end and put away the smash. It was never that going to be that easy. When I'm what when Good I'm shot. talking about the rally, there's part of me almost calling her through Vitova every time. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just this Czech thing which is going on at the moment. All of these great young Czech players. Be interesting to see those two play as well. Quite like to see that match. Yeah. Good serve from Raducanu. It's back in. Great depth from Noskova there. Forehand from Raducanu. It's too good. Yeah, yeah. it skips off the surface. Good shot. But every game is a bit like Emma's this. Emma's fighting, isn't she? She's not having Emma... easy service games. Ne neither of them are. This is the thing. Both of them are going like 30 alls. Or... If, if Emma wins this match, I don't think she can really leave with her head held too high. I mean, it would be great for her to come back from the position she's been in and it shows some resilience, but... Ultimately, it, feel, it would feel more like Noskova just sort of run out of uh, steam and experience rather than Raducanu winning it. That's long, unfortunately, from Noskova. It was a good idea. I like the slice idea, but it was just long. I feel that, the well, yeah, like you said, the one thing she can gain uh, Raducanu from this match is that she was able to fight through adversity. Yeah. And that would be like the main thing, like just to take into another match. Like if she can do I don't it. see it much. It's going to be a real tough slog. Like, there's no way Noskova's going away easy in this one. Just misses the first serve. When she needs the first serve as well at 40 30, she's not finding them. Yeah, Rachel saying Emma needs to clutch this out. <laughs> she really does. And she's messing, messing up the ball toss right now as well. It's happens too many times on the big points. Backhand cross court. Emma goes forehand, forehand down the middle from both into the backhand side of Noskova. Now into the net from Emma again. Another yeah. error on a big point. She looks frustrated, rightly so. I'm not sure why she's making those errors at that time. Is it just the pressure? Probably. Is. Well, this is massive, massive two points coming up here. Right. Raducanu serving. Juice. Out to the forehand. 
Now, great Ooh, winner there from Raducanu. That's a bit better, a bit more intent in that one. Yep. Created a good angle as well. I think oh. your door's going. Yeah, I can't get it. <laughs> as long as you've got someone oh, yeah. else in. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's raining here now. I don't know if it's the same where you are. I can't see. I've got, got the blind shot. Roll on. <laughs> it's just in the dark. Oh, that's long. And Raducanu oh, does yeah. manage to hold. And that was a real tricky hold as well. And she's... They've all been. They've all been pretty tricky. Yeah. And can Nozkova, the big question, can she get this one to tie a break or will Raducanu break? Let us know your prediction in the live chat. <laughs> Absolutely massive news coming from another court. Attila Balaz has won a game, uh, and it is six. <laughs> I was love actually five. expecting big news then, Ben. <laughs> no, uh, Attila Balaz six love five one down, about to lose it six one by the looks of it. Chilich having the easiest walk in the park, it seems. Uh, cashing, cashing, Gombos still going. Oh, Tomjanovic took the first set. Yeah, but Cashin's got him. Come on, Tomjanovic. Sorry, Contavi, I really yeah. do like you, but it's brackets dependent on this. That's yeah, a big do you have Tommy Anovich going far? I think a couple. I think it's not a bad section. That's probably a couple okay. of. Uh, so it's about quite valuable then. Very. Like, I, think, I think I've only got Contavi going one round, so it doesn't change the world. I think a lot of people will have her going, like yeah. some distance. A little, yeah. There must be someone else in there who I've got though. Maybe. Don't know who. Ooh. Kudometeva down a break in the uh, second set. Uh, Kerber up a break in the second set. Is he going to turn it around? Here we go. Massive service game now for Noskova. What's Huge your return anyway? Game. I think we're going to tie break. That's what I've said the whole from since the big, pretty much the beginning of the set. Great winner Ooh. from Noskova down the line. Bill's ninety eight point eight percent sure it goes tie break. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sort of on the same uh, boat as you, mate. Oh, do you reckon there's other women watch who are going to watch this on the tour and think, oh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to play her. <laughs> Not really. I think they would. A lot of them would fancy her. She's, she, we've seen here today. Radu so sure, has not been that good. I mean, if you're looking at a top twenty, I like, I can't see Sarkari struggling against Noskova. Or I see some anybody, of the top athletes aren't going anyone to struggle. can win. Radu Khan, who's just not really performed at the, at the best level here. I don't think she's played that badly. I don't think she. I, I don't think you're she's saying, under, but under she, the cosh. She hasn't yeah. made that many unforced errors. She 10. has. Like Raducanu. Look, 10 unforced yeah, errors. She, I don't know. I feel like it's she not, has. It's, she's just being getting battered off the court. That's she's the played, thing. She, okay, she's played very passive or within herself then. She's, oh, that's a poor half volley. Got caught in no man's land. Noskova there. Not good. 15, and she's, listen, she was love 30 on the last service game. Now 15-30. Yeah. Raducanu's getting very close to taking this set. This is the big point again. It and this feels is like Raducanu. a turning point. Focus, Raducanu. That's long. She gets a second serve. Do something with it, but make sure you get it back in play. That's number one rule. It's back in play. The backhand's into the net. Into There's the net. two set points now. Yep. That's all she needed to do in the last time that uh, Noska was serving is get it back in play. Make the pressure transfer to the other end. It's all that was required. Just was frustrating watching her keep hitting it in the net. There we go. Let's see what she's made of. Well, exactly. First serve's Second gone into serve. the net again. One to 33%. Very precise. It's looking though. good for <laughs> the Emma fans out there. The third. Is it going to be one of the thirds? She steps in backhand. Ooh. Noskova, forehand, cross court. They both go. Noskova, great depth. It's too good from wow. Noskova. Great depth. Passive Big from save. Emma there. I would agree. On the first one. I think Another she was one too coming passive. Up. That was the one to go aggressive on. She was 15 40. Go. That, now you've only got one more chance. Now it's going to be juice. What do you mean now it's going to be juice? Well, that's what I mean. Because you didn't go so. If she'd gone so aggressive, she could have got her on the back foot. She chose to go still passive. Set point. I know. Second yeah, she's going to have a again. second serve to look go at. Go for it. I just say go for it now. Go for it. Yeah, just go Ben's for it. Ben's told you what to do, Emma. Are you going to listen? Hey, Peak, telling me. 
It's a good, good second hand. serve. She goes oh, for it. Win it's Noskova. down the line. Facing set point. Noskova digs one out, hits a winner down the line. That is fantastic tennis. It's great. Uh, make sure if you haven't already hit the like button. This is a fantastic match. And Noskova is Nothing playing do. amazingly right now. Just to That's keep this one straight, really competitive. Hour. That ball. That was always the risk. You hit it hard, it might come back faster. <laughs> Juice. As Kathy says, clutch. It really is. Good backhand return there from Raducanu. Just trying to keep it in play now. Good depth on these shots now. Now mixes it up, goes over to the side. Can she drive volley it? She goes back the same way. And Noskova gets her again. And now it's, it's Noskova in control. Oh, she's messed oh, up. Oh, she's my word. The She's done all the hard work, Noskova, and then misses the easiest forehand of the lot. That's sad, man. I mean, that's what I'm saying with Raducanu. Her decision making is not good enough. Let's be honest. Against any other player in the top 100, that's done. I think it's just pressure that. What from no, Raducanu? Big, I'm talking big about point it wasn't, she didn't deserve to win that point, Raducanu, but yet Noskova just gave her one. Another set point. Good serve. It's in this time. Good return. The backhand. They're both playing it down the middle. No one wants to go to the side. Noskova goes there first. Raducanu has to loop it up. Noskova goes down the middle again. Backhand to backhand they go. Raducanu hanging in this one. Noskova with a straight backhand down the line. Now the forehand down the line. Raducanu defense, defense. Goes to the backhand again. Can only slice it. Noskova down the middle. Raducanu. It's the volleys. Oh, it's too oh! good from Noskova. <laughs> no. What the a rally. Noskova. No Amazing the rally. Noskova. Look at that. What an incredible man. rally. Look at the volley as well to end it. Yeah. Just takes Perfect the pace off the ball. Shape. Radu Khan is tired. She's breathing heavy. Wow. I'm not surprised. You see how many miles she did side to side there. It was full on defense mode. Radu Khan mm. did very well actually to keep that one alive. But another set point goes by the wayside, and we're here at Juice again. Noskova serve. Best match of the, of the tournament so far. Yeah, I'd say so. Good serve there. Oh, great return again onto the baseline. Raducanu goes down the line. Noskova in defensive mode herself now. Now goes down the line. No, overcooked it, it, I think. Yeah. Overcooked it into the corner, and Noskova has a game point to force it to tie break. We know what happened in the first tie break. Yep. Yasha and Emma's going to win this. I think that if Noskova gets out of this game, she's going to have some confidence, though. This, is, this has been tough. She's saved set points here. I fear for Emma if she doesn't get it done in this game. Forehand into Noskova's backhand. Great backhand from Noskova. Now down the line. Oh, what a great winner from Radu Kanu. Outside of the line. What a shot. Have a look at that again. There was such a oh. low neck clearance yeah, as well. That's what she needs to do. The the low neck clearance, the better. And you see the yeah, way the perfect. ball took a weird bounce as well. Yeah, because it hit the line. line. That's why. Yeah. Right. Juice again. Just knocking on the door. Backhand down the middle. And Oscar was, oh, it's gone Missed wild. It. Missed, Missed it. it again. So she's feeling like she wild, needs to, feeling the she pressure. saw that from Emma. That's why I think Emma shows her though more of those. She will feel she has to finish the rallies earlier. And that's the that's the key. If you are just joining us for this one, whack a like on the video. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new. Set point. Raducanu. Backhand cross court. Noskova goes cross court. Emma answers it with her own. Backhand to backhand they go. Who is going to break first? Forehand. It's still on the baseline. Raducanu Ooh, goes drop, drop shot. We've not seen many. She's done. It's done She's it. Done it. Oh, great shot. <laughs> Radu Khan, who takes the second set, 7-5. Wow. Noskova, is, you know, she's tried her best. She simply has. Radu Khan, who had a great shot right at the end. And we've got the Emma chance in the live chat because it is one set all. <laughs> Wow, what a matchup this one is turning into. Uh, 
She's really having to go through the ringer here. Noskova has really turned up to play and has, Emma's had to bring out some incredible shots to even get this one to a third set. We've got to give Emma some credit because she's been under the cosh. I mean, you see the winners to unforced errors on the screen. Noskova has been full out attack ever since the, uh, the first service game and hitting winner after winner. Right. Well, while we are in the break, I take this moment to tell you about our sponsor, APIC Tennis. Boy, it looked like Emma needed some APIC Tennis. It was mental training for your tennis game. And if you are struggling to convert your practice play into match play, then you need to get on board with this app and get the seven day free trial. Isn't it frustrating when you play great in practice but play poorly during competition? Performing well during competition requires your ability to remain present, focused, believe in yourself when things are going against you, manage expectations in a way that allows you to play freely and always be ready to embrace challenges as opportunities for improvement. AP Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Layer who helped 17 athletes become world number ones, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Currier, Monica Seles, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At AP, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable so that everyone can receive world-class mental training anytime and anywhere. Now, for less than $6 a month, build annually you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process best of all ap is a freemium app that means you will have access to everything for seven days without putting credit card information you can purchase the app if you like it or even if you do not purchase the app you will still have full access to the resources section where you will receive weekly mental training lessons AP Tennis is already used by so many top US college teams and top players. The official mental training of Intercollegiate Tennis Association and the United States Professional Tennis Association. With AP Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage. That's right. Sign up today and get your seven day free trial. It is worth it. And it does definitely work because I've used it and it works for me whilst playing JG, which is a bit crazy. Uh, and I was hung over as well. I was feeling my worst I'd felt the whole time that we were in Zagreb. But uh, somehow, the, just thinking about what were the rules that it told me in the app, I was able to somehow play my best match against him very very strange but it must work hey here we go radu Kanu up 40 love on her serve in this third set right good serve there and she started how she finished the last one it is game to love and it is a radu Kanu. <laughs> Yash, yash, yash in uh, saying, let's go, girl. Try not to uh, flood the uh, live chat too much, mate. Let everybody else have a go. Uh, we are a big community here. If you are just joining us as well, remember to whack a like on the video. We're up to 135. Let's get that up to 200 as soon as possible. And subscribe to Game to Love if you are new to the channel. If you would like to get on our top tippers leaderboard, bam, 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 there's one space left. This is for Roland Garros, and uh, you can make it onto our end of year Hall of Fame and be in for uh, a chance to win prizes in our end of year awards as well. No worries, uh, Yash Yash. Too much adrenaline. I know how it feels. Don't worry. 12 Chelsea saying, did I see JG doing the Djokovic victory celebration? <laughs> Promo. Yes, you did. Right. Backhand to backhand they go. Oh, just came, just clipped the baseline there. Uh, and Noskova was looking at it. She thought it even might have been long herself, but it was not. Landed in. Right. Good serve there from Noskova. Backhand. 
Oh, it's clipped the net cord and it's gone in. We've got President Osso saying Emma will win this third 6-4. Interesting. Okay. Any other predictions for this third set? If you do have one, pop it in the live chat now. Right. Well, remember at the back end of the last set, we had lots of juices on all the serves. Looks like we're going to have a couple of games to love. Oh, let for serve. Uh, Arun saying, Ben, don't ban me. My mistake is to have the same last name as Yasha. Yeah, Yasha. Calm it down, mate. You can try and uh, be a bit more reserved with your uh, live chat or just chat to people in there. We've got Lexi in with the Radu emojis and come on, Emma, win this match. Oh, that one looks like it might have been in. Radu Khan, who's sort of questioning, looks in from. She's sort of saying, really? Oh, she's conceded. Looks like it is going to be a hold. And Lexi going 6-4 for Emma, of course, Ben, like that. So it looks like it will be a hold and a hold to love. <laughs> Like JG coming in with Emma 6 4. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like all of this is too much peer pressure. Like I'd like to say, Radu Kanu to win more comfortably than 6 4, but I don't think I can. I think it'll be something like we'll get to 5 all again. I'll go 7 5. Maybe we we'll go 7 6. I'll go 7 6 then, Radu Kanu. 6-3 marks coming with for Emma. And we got A-Peak Tennis. Look at that. Here are the guys themselves. The match will come down to some mental toughness. Let's see who did their A-Peak beforehand. Agreed. Well, we were saying that Emma definitely required their uh, training methods or your training methods at that end of that first, um, at the end of that second set to keep her in the match. She definitely did I'd make some adjustments. Does she have the mental strength to get herself through this third? That's for sure. We got Sean in saying, how highly do you rate Holger Rune? Very highly. That is what I'm saying. We spoke to Francisco Serendolo. He said that he reckons Rune will be the breakout player of 2022. Obviously, we're not talking about Alcalaz, people like that. I mean, like people who weren't really on the scene. Radu Khanu hits the net cord there and it does bounce wide and it is 15.30. Is he saying, uh, I'm saying tie break Emma 7-4. Okay, it's a popular 7-4. 6-2 Emma saying Rachel. Lexi saying hi to A-Peak Tennis. <laughs> and we've got uh, Arun. Cheers for the super chat. Really appreciate that. If you want to play a button of your choosing, you may have one. Just send it in. And uh, I'll get it played for you. I'll add you on there. Here we go. Yeah, mate. It's all kicking off. I thought you might come in whilst Radu Khan, was down. She's winning it. 6-4. I always... Uh, you, every time that you're not on the s screen, I always assume that you're eating. I am. So I'll tell you what I've been eating. That's why my mouth is a bit on fire. I've been having oh. some sensations... But before Ooh. I had it, I had this like hot chicken. It was like some leftovers from earlier, but it's like mm. really spicy. But that with the sensations, it just caused my whole sensations on my tongue <laughs> Mouth to, come, to come to life. So just bear with me a second until I come get back to normal. That's it. Right. So oh, it's looped up. And can we see Noskova reproduce? Oh, she's gone a bit hard on that forehand there. I've noticed that she's hitting it down the middle a lot more than she was in the first uh, set and a half. She's going a bit more predominantly central with her shots. And I think that might be the reason that she's going long. She maybe needs to create a few more angles and it will give a little bit more allowance for them to fly in. Easy there, saying sensations are elite. I mean... <laughs> On a oh, crisp good. tier, 
I think sensations are at the top. They've got a good crunch. Oh, a big winner, that. winner. Big, big winner from Moskova. Looking to break Raducanu early. For me, I think uh, Doritos, Pringles and sensations are like the top three. But then if you go to like, it's a lot of European countries and you have them like crinkle cut ones, which are mm. like really tasty in the local supermarkets. They're great crisps as well. And I'm a, I'm a bit of a crisp connoisseur, as yeah. you can tell from the I, belly and challenge JG. Yeah, I do. I, I, I try not to even buy any because I know that if they're there, they will just be the first thing that gets eaten in the whole place. Like Pringles are the worst. I don't know if I can even allow I think myself. Pringles. To buy them. I don't know if people know about, it, but I feel like they put something in it which oh, is very do. addictive. Yeah, there is. There's proof that they do. There is something in there that's like that, and it's. I don't think it's that good for you either. No, but Pringles. They're, they're definitely crisps. drugging me every time I'm having Pringles. They're not even real crisps though. Pringles. That's why I don't. They're not yeah. top of the list for me. I'd like the, the sensations for the crunch. Oh, sensations are great. Yeah. Yeah, they're great for a crunch. I quite like the. Uh, Lays are good as well. I do like you know the print. Lays, you know but... the the crinkle, like you were saying. I like the paprika ones of them. The walkers, like yeah, me too. Ones. Oh, great shot! Ah, oh, too good. Loskova guesses which way she goes. Raducanu hits it back to her, and she gets passed at the net. Oh, what's happened to Tom Yanovich? She's done that in both sets now. Was up a break and then finds herself five four down again. Well, I guess on, credit Contavi. to yeah, I guess credit to Contavi. What's going on? I swear Ketsmanovic is in the slowest three setter I've ever seen. <laughs> it's been brilliant. <laughs> going on for like forever. Look, it's three hours. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Ooh. Jack in there, though, takes the match. Finally. Good one for the bracket. Go on, boss. Sad to see him go, but he has to, unfortunately. That's Get why he go. wasn't my qualified to watch this year. Kept him out. And I'm how glad. Many, how many more uh, games can Balage win? Is the question <laughs> that, on that match? Maybe none. <laughs> backhand to backhand. Raducanu is really trying to g herself up at the moment. Good forehand into Raducanu's backhand. She has to slice. Good depth. Oh, a bit tentative there from Noskova. Yeah, both of them. Oh, shot. good shot down the line. I She's like to come on to finish it. There. It does a bounce in and move back Clever. to juice again. Very long service game. Clever. I like that from Noskova. She noticed that she's been hitting it long. She just started to guide the ball a bit more into the corners. See? Worked. Adjustments being made. And here comes Contavit, Ben Love 30. Yeah, fully expect that one to go to three. <laughs> uh, set point Kerber. Yeah, very like Tomjanovic, not one you can really rely on for a straight sets win. Raducanu serves in at juice. Backhand, good oh, power. Good spot, yeah. yeah. And another massive go. come on from her. <laughs> well, she's trying to G herself up massively here. I mean, it's been. I mean, stamina wise, she seems okay. She seems to still be hitting the ball pretty hard. I've spoken about Raducanu. I remember at Wimbledon, she couldn't physically wasn't at it. And that's what I'm saying. Look at her at Wimbledon compared to what uh, Noskova's doing here. It's remarkable, isn't it? Well, yeah, exactly. I feel, I feel like that was fourth round, though, that she was in when she started having the problems. That's so, true. And Raducanu does yeah. hold. It was a long one. Look, the, long. look the horns out and the trumpets. I don't know what they're, what yeah. they're playing. <laughs> Where did they come from? This is a Vuvuzela. Oh, no. I don't want any of them ever again. Hopefully, all of those got destroyed after that World Cup. It's like a beehive. Oh, Kerb has taken the second set up against Freck. And Kudometov is 4-2 down in the second set against uh, Zhu. It's annoying because Zhu was gonna was potentially going to be one of my qualifiers to watch, but I went against <laughs> Zhu. It's annoying. I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't oh, that... K Kakin was going to be one of mine. I just wish I did. Went with it. Mm. Got in as a lucky loser. And now he's through to the next round. Zoo, we better than Kotov. <sighs> yeah. Zoo, I sort of... Kotov. I know. Just better draw, isn't it? I think that I would have probably given Kotov to beat Gombos, though. If it had gone in. Yeah. That must be frustrating, though, if you are did just beat someone and then you see the draw and then they get a lucky loser spot and they're playing someone much better like or much easier to beat just the way it is isn't it yeah i don't like it though 
With, imagine the difference in money gets like double the money cut off gets now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, got my cousin in the live chat. How are we hey. doing, Billy? Incredible right, Bill? coverage. Thank you. Oh, you know, us. is that me or Ben? I feel like I'm covering everything, covering all bases at the moment. It's covering the kitchen, covering food. all my predictions as well. <laughs> Can't lose. Yeah, <laughs> it's covering all bets. <laughs> Noskova, though, trading in this third set, but we're on serve. Close last game, though. Very, very good to get through that yeah, one. Do you not think Noskova's been involved in every single Raducanu service game? No, I mean, it was game to love in the first one of this but, set. Okay, maybe not every single. The majority, the large, the, a lot of them, I thought, have been like 30 or 40. Yeah, they've been like juices. There's been a He's lot of them. He's done very well against returning Raducanu serve today. Yeah, definitely. Well, you can probably see it from oh, the stats. Well. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, first serve points one, second serve points one. 63 and 46. I mean, put that together, we're looking at what? About 50... It needs to be the middle of them two Quite numbers. close, really. That's what I'm saying. I thought she's basically half and half, Radu Kanu, on her yeah. service thing. What about total points one in the match? Radu Kanu, 96. Noskova, 95. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, oh, Raducanu yeah. also has got a lot of points of the Noska the service game. Yeah, I mean, you always see matches like this. There's one person with so many winners and the, the much more unforced errors on the other side. But at least we're both in positive. That's the the, the key thing for a good match. I always think Raducanu in. Oh, she's gone the wrong way again. again. She always goes uh, the wrong way. I mean, I know. Uh, she. That's the one thing Emma needs to improve. She doesn't predictable anticipate. That's, no, it's things predictable. Very well. That's what someone said in live chat earlier. She keeps going back the same way. And if she's playing to the open court, Noska was I'm not saying she's given up, but I think she just knows she it. Just she just knows where she's still. going every time. Yeah, if I stand still, I've got a 50 50 chance of getting this. Why would but it's I not 50 50 anymore? That's the point. It's about 80 20. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's a good return from Raducanu there, though. It is 40 30. Can she get her to a juice on her serve? Ooh, We're the Pedro two games. Martinez up an early break against Laxman. Oh, no. Love to Lax. see that. Sad to see. And Ema uh, looks like he's going to close that out against Duckworth. Did you have Ema or Duckworth? Yeah, definitely Ema. <laughs> did you have Martinez <laughs> or Laxman? I think I might have had Laxman. Yeah, but you only did that for the pod. I know, but I can't go against our guys, mate. Or did you? Oh, Frex up a break in the third against Kerber. That doesn't mean much at the minute. Tomjanovic now looking to try and break Gontovic. That's ridiculous. I mean... Oh, what, is that still the second set? Yeah, five all. Kucheva trying to get it over the line. So you'll beat the odds. You're not really I talking know. about that much. No, I'm Are trying to keep it under wraps. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping that. And plus, I don't want you to allude to the fact that I picked Schmeidel over in my bracket and Coach <laughs> Hipper might beat the odds. That's another thing. Why did you do that? Because when I actually looked into like their form uh, after, I didn't do that in the bracket thing. And I would have known not to pick her. I look, No, I looked into their head to head. Every time they played on clay courts, Kutch was beating her straight sets. Oh, okay. So I was like, oh, well, that was a stupid pick in my bracket then, wasn't it? I should have checked that when I was looking through. Oh, break point, Tamjanovic. Oh, I'm not I'm done with checking that match. It's ridiculous. <laughs> right, so Ra Raducanu with a break point here. Out of nowhere, good backhand return. Noskova having to hit that one on sort of the half volley on the baseline. Looping that one up, asking Noska to go long. for it. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, there's no pressure on her there whatsoever. I'm not sure what she was going for. I think finally, me and Mia Kesevich is going to finish the match. <laughs> Possible. I mean, that second set was one hour and 20 minutes. Ridiculous. And it was a 7 5. Do you not feel that in this match I think you have to watch it to know what's going on yeah it sounds like just long rallies in this match I'm surprised that Radu Kanu hasn't tried to bring her to the net more because that's been the only weakness really that we've seen is the net player yeah she's chosen to hit baseline to no, baseline I think she can afford to go baseline to baseline now because Noskova's not at the set level she was in the first set or the second 
ultimately, Man, at that age, still there, she's though. only going to get worse. That's why I said in the early in the second one, I think Maradu Khan in three. I mean, my predictions have been pretty good the last few days. And I can see the way this is materialising. I'm pretty confident Maradu Khan wins this one in three sets from here on out. And that's not against Noskova. I know I've been bigging her up and she's one I've got in my bracket. But the way this is materialised, I think going the depths of two hour 20 against a top 100 player. Noskova's never done that ever before. And you've got to be thing, sensible. Man. There we go. Radu Cardo oh, breaks down winner. the line. Um, and right like that, she's 3-1 up in the third set. Can she consolidate the break? We've seen many breaks not consolidated in this match. Noskova might start playing with a bit more freedom. Drop shot. Raducanu's in. She goes with her own drop shot. Yeah, Which we'll play. Was good. That wasn't a good decision. Quite clearly. She got punished for that bad decision there. I, it was set up well enough just to hit it. Hit through it. And Yashas, thanks for all the great comments, but please try not to message so much in the live chat and allow other people to talk as well. But thanks for your comments. Indeed. Love 15. Raducanu already with a bad decision on her serve. See what she does on this one. Forehand down the line. Noskova got it back and it lands in. Raducanu decides to just keep the rally going. Amazing from Noskova. Keep this one going and then forces Ooh, one wow. long. The one that she was is going. definitely struggling a lot more now. The shots that were hit finding the lines are now going long or wide. Um, is it, do you reckon, just tiredness? What do you reckon? No, it's just inexperience. Like I keep saying, she's never played a top player. And physically, I think it's not yeah, it's, I mean. it's like, the physicality of playing someone so good. And as much as Emma Raducanu has not been a great, she's still a top 100 player who's got some experience now on the tour, not playing someone like that. It's hard to get a win of them straight away in a grand slam. It's going to take some time to adjust. It's Just a slow long, thing. Yeah. You start with someone 100 in the world, then you move up and get better. You Then you lose the odd one here and there. I mean, she lost the other week on a clay court 6-1, 6-1. So it's going to take time. But still, I've been amazingly impressed with Noskova. And this has just been a great match for her which suggests she's going to be the future of tennis for it's me. It's been a very there. entertaining match. I mean, it's lived up to the bill. That's the main thing that yeah. I wanted here today. I wanted to see two young players really. This could be like a rivalry. Like yeah, in a few definitely. years' time, this could be a real rivalry. I think with Igor as well. Listen, Noskova versus Igor Svantec, sort of five years down the line. Let's see how that one materialises. Maybe. She's definitely got the like the power and those types She's of things. She's got the ability. Just needs time. Needs a lot of time. Yeah, she's going to have learned a lot from this match, no matter what happens. 30 all. Raducanu. This is until Halep loses to Shunk and then everyone starts talking about Shunk. <laughs> I can't see it after. I'm not oh. even going to entertain it. I'm... Do you eclipse the qualifiers? Do you win the qualifiers to watch on the women's if Halep loses to Shunk? I think so, yeah, for sure. If she, Halep's ridiculously good. If she was able to beat Halep, it'd be ridiculous. Don't I don't know. know if that's good. I, I think we're just talking far too crazily, though. She just lost in the last round of qualifying. A peak tennis is in. How are we doing, guys? Uh, said 100%, JD. It takes a lot of time to be able to play up to the level for three full sets. She is definitely tough, uh, though, one to watch. Yeah, definitely one to watch. It's just going to take time to adjust to playing uh, three sets against a real serious contender who's in the top 100. And I think and, um, this sort of thing is similar. I feel like Radu Kanu's. She's, well, she's got break point me. here, though, quickly. This yeah. is break point for Noskova to get back on serve in this match. And in terms of her mental game, A-peak tennis probably agree. Noskova looks pretty solid, I must admit. Yeah, for Someone sure. Someone at that age, 
She's not really been overawed by the occasion. She's gone forehand here. Down the line, misses the line. Oof. And the break point saved. Had to go for it, though. Juice. But that's the one thing I think that they where they have similarities. I think it does take a long time to become well, that three set like Grand Slam style player. I don't even feel like Raducanu's body's at it completely yet. Because the way she won the US Open didn't prove it. It just showed that she was able to smash everybody up in two. When she's been to three sets, we've got to really see what she's made of. And it hasn't been all uh, anything to scream about, has it? So it takes time, though. I feel like... Point coming up here. Hits the net cord. Unlucky there, Noskova. Ooh, Bounces unlucky. the wrong side. Sometimes it's they go in. Advantage Emma. Oh. Is this the consolidation point? Yeah, it would be if she... Uh... If she does she it. does cons consolidate, yeah. Uh, we've got Tomjanovic trying again to uh, win the match. Well, she's 6-5 uh, up with a break now. Can she do it? And Kerber, what's she up to? I mean, sort it out. Oh, Emma Maybe. does do it. She flicks yeah. one into the open court, consolidates the break and leads 4-1. <laughs> Who's wow. so close to the next round where she'll face Ben? Yeah, good point. Where she... <laughs> I love this one. She will face the winner of Kerber. No, Sasnovich. She'll That's play. Yeah, a rematch of Indian Wells, I believe. Yeah, where she lost annoying. to Sasnovich. That was the first match that she was to play after the big old US Open. Everyone was bigging her up. Oh, she's the favourite for India. No, she's out. And then Sasnovich went on to beat Halep as well. And Tomjanovic has defeated Annette Contevi. The wow. fifth seed goes tumbling out. Another seed goes by the wayside. Not quite the same level of shock, in my opinion. But still, a big win for Tomjanovic. I don't think it warrants a news video. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not on, uh, the, not on this surface. Contavit, though, last year, let's be honest, one of the better players. Yeah, great. I mean, I'd looked away for a second, and then I looked back, and Martinez had won the first set. How was that? It was 6-2, yeah. It was 4-2. Like, yeah. He must have just broken and then held straight yeah. away. Quick. Good forehand there from Noskova. Oh, drop shot. Nice. Emma comes nice. in. Oh, I misses it. Ah, uh, yeah. She read it well, this though. Gave her something else to think about there. Raducanu, she's had to fight very, very hard in this match. And that's credit to Noskova. She's never been sort of an easy rally or an easy sort of like a game. You know, she's been to juice multiple times on her serve. It's been a real battle of attrition out there. Yep. It's a war of attrition. Yeah. Get oh, right. great shot, Emma. Oh, she's doing a Noskova. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> doing well. look, look who else is close to winning the match, Ben. Your girl Kukova on Beat the Odds, two points away. She's been stuck on that game for, I swear, for eight. I keep looking back and she was on 30 love for about like five minutes. Some long How rallies, long the rally? <sighs> Squeeze and, um, it. And oh. it is very sad, but it is over, I'm pretty sure, for Noskova here. And can you see why I said Emma in three now? To make it more sense? Oh, I can see it. Do you now. not rate it's... it a little bit? I don't know. I I just thought it was covering all bases. To be not fair. really, it wasn't really. I just I, felt, I said that on it. serve in the second. It still did. It's just an. Easy, it sort of does though, because then you can't lose. Yeah, but not really. I know what you mean, but not with a prediction. You can only make one yeah. prediction in a match live, and that was the one. Yeah, I know. But if you if she lost, she could only lose in three. That was the whole point. Yeah, <laughs> that was what I mean. So yeah, the point was, won, I you were like, lose. "Yes, my qualifier to watch." Well, look, we've got John Silkin, an incredible guts being shown here from Emma. 
Do you think it's guts or do you think it's the fact that Noskov has never played anyone? I think uh, guts in the end of the in a big match. Set. For sure, at the end of the second set was guts. I yeah. think that, that was she really dug in. She had the crowd against her as well. For parts, this, yeah. this set, I feel that Noskova, like you said, she's, she's just, run out of steam. Yeah, she's just not used to it. Exactly. Oh, Ooh, great little shot there. That's what Raducanu should have done last time. <laughs> See, getting schooled with the drop shots. Noskova say John saying Noskova's level is still pretty high. Would you? I don't think it is, John. I think that she has the ability still. I just she's don't got the odd shot like here this... and there, but it's not the consistency. Her consistency no, no, is consistent... not pretty high because yeah, she's not played gone. at this level. Well, look at the winners' unforced errors that it's gone massively up on the unforced errors. I remember yeah. what was it about six games ago? It was at fifty to twenty-four or something. Now we're at fifty-three thirty-four. One thing there. I would say is this has it's been a very break. professional performance from Radu Kanu, holding her nerve, very confident and assured. And she's yeah. starting to we're starting to show her the the success of playing on the tour a little bit longer, starting to come to fruition. The experience of Radu Kanu at this weird level <laughs> is coming through. It does seem weird to say, but she leads here five one. She's gonna be serving for the match. Jay Johnson, <laughs> admit it, JG. Emma's played brilliantly. <laughs> Trying to stoke the fire. I just no, want to hear you say it. I thought she has played very well, yeah. Well, good return there from Noska. That was a great serve, but uh, there you go. No getting that. I feel like she's grown in confidence the more that this third set's gone as well. She's hitting cleaner, not doubting herself as much. There was a lot of doubt in some of her shots earlier on in this match. But... It could just be Noskova slowing down. I mean, if Noskova played at that first set level for three sets, ace now for well, even the second set, she was good. Noskova, she was. Yeah, I mean, it's the level was so high. I don't even think we see many women on tour play at that sort of level. Like you even see Eager struggle to keep that type of like oh, winners come on. level. That'd be silly. Well, how many Dude, winners? No, he... Not <laughs> he can now stare the yard. Man. How many? How many winners? <laughs> He's, he, he didn't even know who she was. Now she's. He's saying, not no, I'm saying it's to more be... winners than he got. I mean, have, have you not well, tried or something? Let's, you got let's go and let's go and check to see how many winners Eager hit today. Twenty. See, Noskova fifty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Someone look after Ben. I'm not sure if he's all right. Uh, he needs to steady on. Here no, we go. There, where I'm to hit that, no, I don't. Lost that the plot. risk and reward style tennis that she's been doing, where you hit that many winners, it's not easy to do. And I'm to do it in the consistency, I mean, she can doing. do it. But is she a well beater? Not always. No, but she can't do it that often. It's so difficult Lost to do. That's always has 50 winners, but she has about 80 unforced errors as well. Yeah, that's the thing. She normally has more unforced errors. Oh, Radu can't just oh, make the plan the shot. No, that's the one she would have made that in the second set. Exactly. Running out of steam. But we do have two match Sad points way. for Emma Radu Kanu. Match point. Listen, you wow. say it's sad. I think it's been a great day for Noskova. She's going to learn like that, so much from this experience here today. And we do have, after two hours and 37 minutes, the first match point of the day, Radu Kanu. 5-1. She gets it in play. She goes back in behind Noskova. There you go. Radu Kanu's done it. She wins 6-7, 7-5. 6-1. And she's going to be in the hat for the next round against Sasnovich, I believe. Is that right? Correct, Correct sir. So well played to Radu Kanu. As, as John wants me to say, she did play very well today. But hats off to Noskova. She made this an incredible battle. And Great for someone match. who's never played in the grandstand before, never played against a top player, remarkable. And Emma Radu Kanu, I think oh, she should nice have some very kind words to say about Noskova after this one. Because it oh, wasn't too sure. long ago, that was her.
can't believe Kutcher versus what she done. I knew we shouldn't have brought it up. And now look at her five all. She was serving for the match, and now it's all falling apart. But <sighs> that's just typical. Well, what it all benefit me on both sides that one so but well done to emma raducanu through in sort of easy fashion in the third set but what a match i uh, thoroughly enjoyed it it was end-to-end -end stuff we've seen uh the emergence of a potential new star on the tour uh, i'll be looking forward to seeing if she makes it into the main draw proper maybe next year if she has a good year on tour who knows yeah. uh, i think clay might be a thing I'm interested to see what she's like on other surfaces now, Noskova. Yeah, me too. The uh, future's going to be certainly bright with her. 17 years. Um, but yeah, uh, well done to Radu Kanu. She deserved it. And the biggest thing for me, no medical timeout. So what a relief. We don't have to talk about anything like that anymore because she Emma Radu Kanu was resilient. She won and she's, she's through to the next round. Uh, but we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave you with a word from our sponsor. Join us later on for Djokovic. And of course, support Game to Love by hitting the like button, joining the membership, and of course, downloading A Peak Tennis to improve your tennis game. See you guys soon. Isn't it frustrating when you play great in practice but play poorly during competition? Performing well during competition requires your ability to remain present focused, believe in yourself when things are going against you, manage expectations in a way that allows you to play freely and always be ready to embrace challenges as opportunities for improvement. AP Tennis is led by a legendary and world-renowned performance psychologist, Dr. Jim Layer, who helped 17 athletes to become world number ones, including Novak Djokovic, Andre Agassi, Jim Currier, Monica Sellers, and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario. At APEAK, their mission is to make mental training accessible and affordable so that everyone can receive world-class mental training anytime and anywhere. Now, for less than $6 a month, billed annually, you can start winning more matches and enjoy the game in the process. Best of all, APEAK is a freemium app. That means you will have access to everything for seven days without putting credit card information. You can purchase the app if you like it, or even if you do not purchase the app, you will still have full access to the resources section where you will receive weekly mental training lessons. AP Tennis is already used by so many top US college teams and top players. The official mental training of Intercollegiate Tennis Association and the United States Professional Tennis Association. With A-Peak Tennis, it does give you the competitive advantage.